Trev got something yeah, for Trev. Damn, just hey, T hey, Pun. Just, just, just straight off the rip. Shit it on you. Yeah, since he shit it on the other gift. A new gift. <laughs> for all the dogs. Oh my god, yeah, man. That's, Thank you so yeah, much. For all bro, the bro, dogs. This is amazing. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Yo. Oh fuck! This is amazing. Bro, what am I supposed to do? Thank you so yeah, much. What am I supposed yeah. to do with this? <laughs> he said it's a prop for for the set. Okay, for all the, right. For the office. What, what is this though? This the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> yeah. That's the Tokyo Tower. Okay. Eiffel no, that's the Eiffel Tower, bro. Bro, that's the Tokyo Tower. Why does it look exactly like the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> I don't know. Hey man. That's the Pyro. That's the Pyro. <laughs> the Pyro Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. Thank the, you. Nah. Yeah. nah. This is look. This, this is what fr- friends send you gifts nah. when they think about you. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, bro, yeah, I appreciate yeah, yeah. this. So you like, appreciate that. You didn't appreciate the canoe thing. It's the thought that counts, man. Now, the now? Thought counts. It's the thought that counts. Oh, Seven like, days go by and the thought starts to count. That counts, man. <laughs> That's, That's crazy. another result nah. of child labor, too. Yeah, facts. That looks so, like another. No, that one's that was Japanese. Near, no, that one's probably damn near worse. All the the metallic paint and whatnot, like them inhaling that, like. Oh, you just went. <laughs> so <laughs> deep. You just went so deep. Mine was just Yo, a little, went, you know, a little Elmer's blue type crazy. shit. Did you get it at the airport? No, I got it at the Tokyo Tower. Ah. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's where you get taxed. That. That's where you spent like sixty dollars. So he spanked himself for you. Pause. <laughs> yeah. That's what. That's all Trev wanted though. A good gift. A good You're spank. definitely gonna thank yourself for a good yeah. gift. If you didn't, then I don't know if you can count it as a good gift. You have to. <laughs> Wait, what? I mean, because I mean, uh, speaking of good gifts, actually, we'll just get into the podcast real quick. Welcome, Out of Focus, episode sixty-one. Mm-hmm. I'm in the middle right now because you know it's just all about yeah, you sharing. Got, you gotta pay your dues, man. Yeah. I've, I've sat in the middle like three times at this point. It's it's not a pleasant experience. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Bossa was ready to not pod he's like i might have to sit this one out just because he didn't want to sit in the middle which i could respect so you know i'm here in the middle with the guys i got the next one and thank you for the (laughs) gift though thank you for the gift but on the topic of gift giving and kind of you know what i'm saying what we're just talking about we went to your birthday dinner yeah and that that was it that was a gift. <laughs> that was a gift? <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah. What does that mean? Like, I went, you know, it was, <laughs> it was, it was, it was an expensive experience for your birthday. Definitely. Yeah. But, but you blessed me with your presents. Ooh, yeah. That's a double entendre. Yeah. Presents, presents. Yeah. Oh, Sorry, Drake fuck. got Drake got yeah, me yeah, that yeah, yeah. Oh, Triple on time. Yeah, nah, we're not gonna talk about Drake while we're talking about my birthday. Half this <laughs> pod is gonna be about Drake. Yeah, yeah so. But we're gonna start with your uh, birthday because sure it was a, it was a, it was a special event, and I just want to say I appreciate being like invited. Yeah, thank you for coming. You were invited, bro. right? Yeah, I was invited. <laughs> <What? laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you guys didn't sit together. Hold on, did AB get invited? <laughs> he did actually. He yeah, did I was actually. invited. Yeah. yeah, everybody was invited. Damn. So wait, why didn't? Why weren't you there? What happened? Brad, I wasn't there because I texted Bill Happy Birthday in the morning. Love you. And he just responded with coup. <laughs> <laughs> bro, yeah. I, I was finna say coup and then be like, nah, I'm just playing. I love you, bro. Appreciate you. You know what but I mean? But he did it. I forgot the second Sometimes, text. yeah, you get you Bro, get it was a lot going on, bro. Nah, facts. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my apologies, bro. I wouldn't have pulled up too if someone just said coup. <laughs> but wait, you but knew you, that bro, it was bro, going on? He was in the group chatting the whole shit. But you you were like a little salty about the coup. Yeah, I was salty, <gasps> bro. What? So he boycotted your birthday? Yeah. yeah, yeah. See, so, strike. hey, who really has the tension on the pod? Nah, is it me and Belt or is it AB and Belt? Nah, T-Pod definitely be beefing. <laughs> T-Pod's just a pot <laughs> That's cool, though. Nice. Yeah, Damn, because I would have been kind of, you know. You would have said that was goofy it? as fuck? He would have definitely said that was goofy as fuck. No, that, I mean, because that's a good question. What would you guys have done in that in that circumstance? If you would have just said cool, because you poured it, like, you woke up, you seen it's like nine thirty a.m. I said happy birthday, did, love you, and bro. You, you texted him before the stories were posted, so no one yeah, knew it was, like it was his birthday. Yeah. It was like real official, like homies only, you know, because yeah, it takes that first person to post it on Instagram. Everyone's saying this at the dinner, bro. He was like, "Look, bro, I didn't post you because I was waiting for somebody else to like to post you." Know? Exactly. <laughs> like, <"What's> <laughs> so, so I'm just saying, he 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 was he was. Personal message. <laughs> personal, yeah. message at nine. <laughs> personal message at nine. Personal message at nine. Pre IG post. Yeah, I'm feeling some type of way. Yeah. 
I'm like, cool. Not Honestly, really. I would have been like, cool, question mark. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> like, but then, <laughs> but then, cool, but then, question mark. Hey, but then he never responded. And then, like, um, at 8 o'clock, like, the night of the dinner, I, I texted him. I was, I was like, you not sliding? And then I called him after the dinner, and then um, he didn't call me back. He just and responded, then, cool. Nah, <laughs> I just didn't answer. Just yeah, but then, but... But when I asked him about it, uh, and he told me, I was like, "Yeah, nah, I feel I probably wouldn't have went too." And I apologize, you feel Damn. me? Damn. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> bro, if that was me. Not. I would have really threw hands. Like, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> not even, not even. It's just like, as men, I feel like we need to do better in oh com- <laughs> Yo, communicating bro. how we feel. You know what I'm we saying? We did though. No, nah, yeah, you did After it. the fact though. Yeah, get on him. Oh, you asked me. At least he didn't leave the group chat. I didn't leave the group chat. <laughs> I mean, it was a chat just between Ooh. them though. Blocks him, but yeah. but but I mean, you responded. What do you mean? I mean, at least you responded. You what, said cool. 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 <laughs> Don't act like cool. cool. That's, that's like fucking cool. crazy. That's, that's, that's worse funny. than not responding. Yeah. But, that's worse. but that's way worse. yeah, I'd rather take the no response. Honestly, the no, but okay, I'm saying, is it that bad of a response to? Because you know what cool. Not have someone come to your birthday. I'm I'm not gonna come to your birthday because you said cool. Yeah, I'm probably not. Cause like if you're giving me like random passive aggressiveness and attitude, I'm probably not coming. Like why you? You can't say thank you, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like who? Hey, who is crazy? That's, but that's why it was so fun. I thought I thought it was going to be funny, but I for, I left the punchline out. <laughs> <laughs> Just straight punch. Yeah, straight punch. Straight punch. Wait, so you guys ironed it out though and talked about it? Yeah, the next day. Yeah. But I'm a, I'm a, I'll be accountable. No, that's good. Yeah, I respect. I, I, I'm just people. pondering on the, you know, like, did you want to go? All right, now, bro. I was, I was gonna go. Yeah. You're pulling. You're pulling teeth at this point. I'm not bro. pulling teeth. I'm just <laughs> getting like down this. to the bottom. Yeah, it's like, with, yeah, with so pliers. Like, saw the wounds. Like, like how did it feel for real? Like, I don't know why you would fuck with him after that. <laughs> <laughs> Starts instigating uh, yeah, it. Yeah, that's that, bro. I All right, let's just talk about how wet the birthday birthday uh, get together was, though. Explain cool. where it was at. <laughs> Fogo the Chow. Fogo the Chow. <laughs> Fogo the Chow. Fogo the Chow. Yeah. Unlimited Beverly meat. Hills. Unlimited meat. Pause. <laughs> unlimited meat. Yeah, you said that was the only reason why you wanted to do it there is because you can get unlimited meat. Ha ha. Like Why We're on you right now. On this <laughs> are y'all? I'm fighting back though. They were hella like, anti meat though. They got. Yeah, bro, they, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let's talk about that. Can well, you gotta break. Well, yeah, wait, no. you gotta break down the spots of them, bro. I'm gonna break them down. I gotta. I can give them <laughs> shit without context. And do the lead up with that tension and, and control the narrative. Do, do the lead up with the menu too, and how they ask like, "What does everyone want?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you know, Fogo to Chow, 25 people pull up just about. You know what I mean? So it's pretty pretty big table. They I pull, had no idea it was gonna they, be 25. People. They pull up and they're like, um, they basically explain to you what the restaurant was like. Yo, it's unlimited um, unlimited meats for like this package. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, uh, so. It's not like a regular restaurant in terms of a, a, a waiter comes, you order an entree. It's like you pay wh- whatever the fee is f- for the entry meat or you pay deluxe for the, for the limited meat. meat. Yeah, yeah, the premium meat. Yeah, the premium meat. And then they come and they kind of like chop it down for you and shit. It's a yeah. whole experience. Yeah. And I think they went up to you because they were trying to ask how you want to split up the bill and all that shit. And you, you were just like, we might just all get the same thing. Yeah, that 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 was the boss that, call. That, yeah, no, that was the boss call to make things easier. Oh, so they charged you extra? For what? No, they pretty much just like on a basis they charge the whole table for the unlimited meat thing. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say, um, I did that so that uh, just just so the check would would be less confusing at the end. You know what I mean? Uh, just like everybody see? got the same. And we made it more confusing. Yeah, you guys made it extra confusing. <laughs> <laughs> but not really though, because we. we if we got a drink, it was at the bar, yeah, separate tab. Bar. We paid for that, and it was literally just That's our just entree, dishes. our meals, plus the drop on water. You know, you got seafood. Yeah. Yeah. So steakhouse? all right, yeah, it's like we got to break it down to them because wow. we decided not to. Uh, it was Good Friday. Not to get the oh, endless meat uh, deal. I was yeah. just like thinking it was gonna be easier hey, but I, I didn't have no idea now bro, I feel like a dickhead bro, I, I can like, already damn. imagine the conversation like after after Shorty explained like what the shit was they probably looked at each other like <laughs> I'm not trying to do that like, <laughs> like, nah, it, wasn't even like, <laughs> it was kind of heavy though I looked at it like $75 yeah. I was I was looking expensive. at the the power greens bowl for 30 <laughs> well, see 30 what happened 50. 
what it's happened bro, it, was it's my birthday you know what i mean so it's like well exactly i mean <laughs> the dish i got was not on fire, the same so. price level it was just more just like okay what is this whole experience so me and kevin we got up we did a circle we seen because what's included in this endless meat is like mm. a, like a salad bar type fresh bar it's you like can go nice, up and like we did a circle we checked it out they had hella shit i was like yeah. you could live off this right here but real. it was just they were oh, not no. filming. They I were was not, not yeah. They, they, were, hating. they were hating. Was, they were hating. How? Hating them? Just immediately. <laughs> Wait, fucking sucks. Nah. Fuck. I enjoy myself. <laughs> all, of, all of Belt's friends everywhere. This shit fucking sucks. <laughs> it was a little battle of the friends, though. It was like, hold on. How you know Belt, bro? Oh, yeah, nah. I feel like, I feel like that, that's the coolest part about, like, celebrating your birthday. Um, Is that, like, worlds really collide. You know what I mean? Because people have, like, different friend groups. Yeah. And it's like, yo, <laughs> these people are forced to kick it with each other. And you, I would and never mingle. imagine and mingle yeah bro it was it felt a little industry mix mixish oh my god okay <laughs> i'm saying that <laughs> you love saying bro he's been this is like my third shit. time i called it that so yeah. for the pod's sake you okay. know i had to repeat that uh, we joke did, we called it we called a mixer if you want. joke huh it was a birthday mixer <laughs> ab is not in the industry that's why you weren't there uh, in these streets I ain't tripping I saved 150 On a seafood mix plate Yeah, yeah. Cool yeah. <laughs> that was, Fuck yeah, And drinks yeah. though Honestly yeah No yeah, yeah It was yeah, It was yeah. We missed you bro For real I'm gonna be real bro We missed yeah. you but Hey The meat doesn't define me bro Cause I had to see <laughs> that <laughs> Because he's That's trying to, crazy. he's trying to, he's trying to shame me for not ordering the meat. Yeah, like, and I, it's just like, what am I supposed to do? Like, the fish I gotta defend smoke. my order. I, do, like, I, do. I couldn't do the like that would have really put me to sleep. And like, I was nah, still editing shit. The like, endless but, meat, but, but endless I, meat, I, but Boston, like straight. It was, it was pretty good, right? One hundred and twenty no, grams of protein. Yes. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, when I try a new restaurant, I like to try the shit that they're known for. It's actually so not for sure. That that's why I was like, all right, fuck it. So how was it worth it? Bro, no, if, if, how much meat did it, you but eat? The experience if, but cool. I'm hating. If you were, but I'm hating. If you were to order like, like these cuts of steak, like at a at a restaurant, and how much you're eating of it, yeah, you're paying just about that much. Yeah, at least. I, was, I also was like semi still sick, so I didn't. I was, Not didn't the biggest appetite at yeah. all. That was like I'm vibing. I'll eat this meat with y'all. Damn, uh, he kind of just shitted on you right now. Why do you do that? What? <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah. So how many times did you ask bro to come back and stack your plate up with more meat? No, it's not even asking, bro. They come around and it's like, oh, they're you literally want some? just walking. You around have to tell them no meat. Yeah. No, 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 no. Or else no, they're no, just gonna no. give it to you. They'll tell you what it is, and you say yes or no. They and how many have... times did you say yes? Every single time. <laughs> I said yes, how many every times time. was that? Huh? How many times at was least that? I don't. Fifteen times, bro. At least fifteen. Yes, fifteen different cuts of steak. Yeah. I said no a couple times. They came by, bro. Yes. They had every type of meat. On you were just head. gobbling that stuff. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's all crazy. Lizzie gobbling. Yeah. So what you're saying is we should have got the meat. Yes. I don't know. How was y'all seafood? I mean, I felt yeah, really, was this, I was really confident good, in our order. And now yeah. it's like, I'm, like, <laughs> I feel a little like, nah, like honestly, insecure it, about I mean, what we nah, ordered, bro. Nah, like, honestly, was everyone at the table thinking that? This? Bro, stop. No, right. no one was thinking this. Bro. Stop Look saying this. meat, bro. Can we say, like, steak or, like, <laughs> or protein? Like, yeah, let's just say protein. Okay, protein. Okay. Uh, Is fish protein? Because yes, we had protein yes, in yes, too. Yes, yes, protein. Definitely. But I feel like every time y'all say it, y'all saying is y'all just dragging it a little meat. <laughs> <laughs> they was probably they just probably thought y'all was a, a pescatarian gay, or some a, a gay pescatarian couple. A gay <laughs> couple? <laughs> so he always. No, he I be like, making that joke <laughs> sometimes. That's, like a, that's a fear of that. Like anytime we go out somewhere, he's like, "Do you think people would think we're like a gay couple or something like that?" I'm like, "Gay interracial bro, couple, bro." We went to Home Depot. Oh, yeah. You imagine you see us in Home Depot? What you're are you thinking? You're yeah, projecting. Exactly. I'm like, you're what? literally projecting. No, I'm not. Make, he wants to be is, seen like that. that. I'm like, what would make people shit. automatically just think that oh, you, these two are a gay couple? Bro, I'm saying that's two, that's pretty, two pretty people. Go in in Home Depot. Yeah, yeah, it's like, why are you guys in Home Depot bro, together? That is, that is, like, no. shit, we would do that, or, or like roommates, we would go to the grocery like, shop. Yeah, like, well, that's, that's why. Or the grocery That's store. why. I just know people's minds are dark. They like to go straight to. No, your, your mind, mind is, is dark, dark and you're projecting. I've never, that I've mind never, I've never been with a homie. And I've never seen like, two homies walking in Home Depot like them niggas probably gay. gay. <laughs> you know, like. 
Unless, they're unless really say, you acting. know. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. bro. Trevor's just imagining, like, I'm right, thinking worst like, case scenario. No, no, you're, what, you're, worst, you're, worst we case. Walk in, we walk in, what do they think of us? Oh, so the worst case. They're just is like, yeah, huh? <laughs> yeah. When <laughs> we're straight, when we're, when we're straight <laughs> males, yeah, I would think that'd be worst case Whoa. scenario. <laughs> I feel like Trevor's just imagining in his head, like, damn, so it would be pretty cool to be in a relationship with Kelly. Fuck. I can see this working out. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> That's what you be thinking. Of? I don't think. <laughs> I don't know but why that's, you were thinking that. That's, <laughs> that's, that's kind of crazy because I feel like I look less gay. <laughs> so you think Calvin uh, looks? Uh, so you think I'm the one that's gaying up the image? I think. <laughs> I think your prettiness paired Bro, with us the wow. is a little gay. gay. That's the second time you co you've complimented him on, on his looks. That's, that's the second I time. I can't gas my homie <laughs> No, you can, but that's twice now. It, within, within 30 seconds. I think <laughs> you keeping tabs is gay. While your thighs Whoa. are touching, too. Or observant. <laughs> But anyways, Why back are your to pants it. growing. <laughs> no, <I'm just laughs> no, back to steak, bro. Okay, me. You enjoy. We ended up paying the sea bass. I ordered the sea bass. Ooh, I got the salmon. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds pretty gay, bro. I'm be real. Yeah, you guys, pes gay pescatarian yo, couple. Yo was going to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to bring hey, that one up. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> yo. Nah, but nobody thought you guys were gay, bro. Nah, exactly. We're just <laughs> probably. <real. laughs> I, I said I promise. Oh. <laughs> Well, right, probably well, thank too. you for thank well, you thank well you i mean do you have anything good to say about my birthday <laughs> yeah, i feel like everything i've said is good uh, i didn't know what to it was just confusing fucking i now was feeling Man, that was damn it was it worth it no no no, no, like, no it was i, I feel mean, like the people that i met and chopped with like it was it was cool people like, bro, you know okay, what i mean it's like yeah. very but, rarely do you get yeah, to like meet new people that are like i don't know yeah like like-minded or like or you, or you, you guys have at least one connect one like uh was a common denominator which is me yeah. it's like it's like you said like oh how do you know belt you yeah know? that was like the icebreaker if you needed like I, the dude you sent me next to sat you next to it wasn't it was all seat. i thought you had assigned seats <laughs> no it was, you sent the whole it was out of seating chart <laughs> <chart. laughs> <laughs> Trev tries to sit somewhere else he's like whoa whoa whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> first he didn't You're order down the there, and buddy. Second, he did it you were the c-listers <laughs> nah but <laughs> you had me sitting next to a pro skater which is like it was tight it was yeah, cool. Shout out to Carlisle. Yeah, he hard. <coughs> exactly, and he, he's pretty funny too, right? Yeah, yeah it, it was, was good. It was it was good vibes. It's like, I feel like the vibe is determined on whose birthday it's for. Mm -hmm. Belt, you have a good personality and you're funny, and people gravitate towards that, and people fuck with that. So it's like, all right, at this at this party of twenty five, I know most of you guys are cool. Just because you're friends with Belt and Belt's cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, to go to the dinner, yeah. It's like you gotta have that certain. Connection. Yeah, it's like it's not no randoms over there. You gotta you gotta trust someone's judgment too before you go to their birthday dinner. It ends up like a dinner for schmucks. Too. Oh shit! <laughs> Wait, what is that? The movie, the movie. Carol? Oh, or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or what happens when you go to the birthday dinner and then people are trying to like put drinks on other people's tabs like just that whole wow. splitting <laughs> that whole Whoa, that whole crazy. splitting the bill Have thing is always it's, it's, it's just it gives me anxiety it does it does it did for me too but um it wasn't that bad it was it wasn't it wasn't bad for uh for the dinner though it was just, everybody just had to cash up as hell yeah. yeah. but just that process of doing that it's like yeah it's a lot it's a You're lot chasing people down like yeah and then it's like it what happens when they don't send it or then but it, but it went well though it did yeah it did yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Sounds like it was, it was fairly smooth. He got like a thousand back. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the two bands? <laughs> it's a two band uh, tab, by the way. Well, because that's the thing. I thought. That's not bad. When you first said you ordered uh, steak for the whole table, oh. I thought they charged two extra heads no, no, for no, us. No, no, so I, no, I, I would be like, damn, so they charged. No, I looked at the receipt. They didn't charge it. They didn't charge it. Okay, good. Yeah, the service was good. The only thing that was a little. <laughs> Okay, you right know? back to the <laughs> right back to the band. Hey, but no, no, I'm just. Nah, nah you good, you good. Restaurant, it was just, you no, no, no. It was just a, a Monday night. Oh yeah. You know. Oh, you wanted to be jumping. <laughs> no, I just. <laughs> don't, I mean, after it's just like what? Out. Like we just went home. Oh after. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause yeah. what'd you guys get into? Did you guys pop out? Oh uh, yeah, we just went to like this little speakeasy type vibe. Kicked it there for like probably thirty minutes and went home. Mm. It was, but yeah, it was Monday. Like it's not like a popping day, you know. Exactly, but I I didn't really want to go out like that anyways. Mm. Yeah, I'm glad y'all have fun to con yeah, to con fun. to conclude the birthday dinner talk. Hey, now that we concluded it, how do you feel? How do you feel? <laughs> I had fun, you know. <laughs> did my one two, my day. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. Or, or did you want me to say I had hella FOMO now? <laughs> yeah, because I would have had FOMO. Unlimited meat. meat. Fuck. Fuck, bro. Brazilian steakhouse, bro. Hey, you don't have to do that, bro. <laughs> what he wants me to do, bro. I was just trying to cook right now. Let me, <laughs> Let me cook. You don't have to eat it. Let him cook, though. He can uh, still we serve it. We bro. won't invite you, bro. <laughs> or wait, you? I got invited, bro. Pull up. Am I wet for that? I respect it. I respect it, and I understand where you're coming from. Yeah, Trev, I feel like you would have did the same wait, wait, thing. Wait, wait. No, I like I. I think to be honest, bro. I think. I think it could have been fixed really quick with a a, a follow up message. Yeah. Yeah. No. And I me, it's him. like I like. If I really didn't want to go, I'd probably just use that as an excuse on why I didn't go. But if I like wanted to go, and then I was like, he responded with that. I feel like if I really wanted to go, I still would just be like either. You would have just pulled up. Yeah, or just like said something like I would have just. Uh, cool, huh? Yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah, or just like you know, like <laughs> you know, respond in like a way, in like a different way. So you're shitting on him. I don't know. I guess no. I respect his response. I guess I'm. I didn't respond. Yeah, because it's like, wait, who even asked you? How nah, how would it make respond. you feel, buddy? Hmm? <laughs> he did respond though. Cause it, it was power and declining. Mm, he's not. He was spoken yeah. silent verbally. And power. you have to. You have to go back on what I said, which was if I really didn't want to go, I'd use it as an excuse. Bro, nobody asked you how you would feel. If this <laughs> I'm, just, like, I'm just saying. I think at the end of the day, AB really didn't want to go. Nah, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. I see what you're saying. Okay, hold on. He might have. To I see what you're saying for sure. You're sizzling. Yeah. It's <laughs> because you responded. You know, but it's like it doesn't smell. Too I'm nah, thinking. I just came back nah, from this I trip. Wanted to my go. pocket. You know, Dave kept asking me if I was gonna go. And the morning, I was like, Yeah. Last night, I was like, Yeah. But you know, so did you have to? Cool. He's like, Oh, cool. Huh? Wait, hold on. Did you have to break it down today? Did, did you get booty tickled? Yes, bro. I'm. Like, I was. I guess I'm hell emotional, bro. I felt some type of way. I was like, What the all- fuck? Like you're a fucking dickhead. I'm not going. Yeah. Like Dang. that's it. So the same way you felt from the goofiest fuck is how he felt from the. Yeah, so, so we're I, all sensitive so, creatures. So I, I'm not a hypocrite. How can I blame him? Mm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. It's like I understand. I don't know what you're saying anymore. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> what I'm saying is, what do you, what do you want from I, him? Bro? No, no. I, I'm saying is, <laughs> what do you I, want me to do? I Punch under, on him? I understand. <laughs> his actions and like the motivation behind his actions i was just speaking if i was in that circumstance because on one end it's like i feel like it's key moments like that where it's like whether it's between y'all or whether it's between me and belt or whether it's between whoever it is it's like those little moments kind of can define like big outcomes in a relationship you know what i'm saying it's like he missed he missed your birthday for that you know what i'm saying so it's like it's like if we're able to talk about our shit real quick or like express it I feel like that's very- I, it'd be you know it, which is hard to do I'm not saying I would have done it I'm just saying like like a lot of this shit could be ironed out with just more communication because as dudes we we get in our feelings bro like we're hella sensitive about no, shit definitely. and Me we'll too. just be like alright fuck you then like I'm not gonna like we d- we choose not to talk it out even though we have feelings behind yeah. whatever's mm. going on we really act yeah. like bitches sometimes mm. oh god yeah. like for real. for real yeah I'm not saying you were acting like a bitch <laughs> <laughs> no, that's definitely what no, you yeah, just I'm, said I'm not, I'm not saying that either but I'm, I'm saying nah I act like a bitch too I'm, I, we all have we all we all do it you know where it's I just act like, like the baddest bitch though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? but like, even yeah. even I'm, I'm a baddie with my friends okay but, yes. <laughs> but even communicating with girls though too it's like it's the same it's the same thing I'll like, do the same shit bro yeah, and and that's what and that's what I'm trying to say is like, some sometimes, like, as dudes especially, if if we were to reach out and kind of like okay put our feelings aside and figure out like hey bro like let me share how I'm feeling like, as dudes sometimes we feel like we're the bitch by doing Every that time. by yeah, doing that ins- instead of like oh I'm gonna ignore you even though that's probably some more bitch like bitch shit type not like that to the mature mind to the mature mind exactly to the like you know what I'm saying because it's just like bro I've I've dealt with shit too where it's just like 
all I had to do was really just express how I was feeling to to someone and I could have been there for certain things or, or I wouldn't have missed out on shit. Or all it would have took is just one of you guys. You know what I mean? Yeah, just to like start the conversation yeah. type shit. Which was me this time. Yeah. No, 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 no. Shout out to me. No, but yeah, but aren't you glad that like we are able to like, you know, hash it out? Yeah. Yeah, one and sit down. And sit down, to yeah. be honest. Yeah, like right, I didn't yeah, even right. know and I appreciate you. For allowing me to like use it as an example to, <laughs> to make myself look better. <laughs> <laughs> using your yeah, yeah, got me in the middle. Yeah. I'm a good I'm I'm on your emotion. <laughs> Thank you for letting me use your experience to make you look way cooler. No, bro. No, because like people could say the same thing for our whole situation. Like we could have talked about it eat nah, quicker or sooner. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The fact that you guys talked about it the next day, I like. I commend that. Like, so that's like hats off because it is easy. That's what I'm saying. It's scary how easy it is to like be in your feelings about something and ruin so much history, or not ruin, but just like cut off so much history, or like just off of pride. Think yeah. off of off of pride and yeah, ego. Yeah, definitely. And it's just yeah. So it's just like I feel like I've been on both ends of that. You know what I mean? So I I feel like it's never like. Oh, you get to a certain place and you ne- like your ego never comes into play. Yeah, it's like it's always a constant like. Unless you take hella shrooms and have ego death. I never had that. Me neither. Take hella Mr. Mushies. Shout out to Mr. Mushies. Mm. The good people at Mr. Mushies. <laughs> <laughs> I straight ad read right now. <laughs> coming soon. Coming soon, bro. Yeah. In conclusion, you had a good birthday. Yeah. It was dope. Honestly, it was dope. It was calm. It's very cool. But um, what? Oh wait, what? Can you explain why you uh, called a mixer, an industry mixer? <laughs> <laughs> okay, because I'm talking to the dude next to me. Like I said, he's a pro skater for Adidas. I feel like these are just people's professions. Yeah. Industry mixer. Okay. They got professions, right? At the mixer. But that's Everyone what I'm saying. I was like, but it was all different professions. So you're, I didn't any, talk any to birthday like, dinner over ten people is a industry mixer, or is it because they? Well, they didn't all work in the industry. Yeah. So let me finish. Yeah, there was so the, the dude there. across is, across from us, I talked to him. Oh, I'm a producer. Oh, I'm on tour. Uh-huh. Industry. Okay. I talked to him about, right, right? It's me. <laughs> in the industry. <laughs> Belt, industry. A lot of people of the industry. Okay. So that's why I'm like calling it an industry mixer. And at the end of the day, clearly it wasn't an industry mixer. It was your birthday. Yeah. But I just like to, you know, say you in Hollywood and change up. <laughs> okay, I see. That's yeah, the narrative to, I'm trying yeah, to run. Wait, yeah, way to way to spin that. Yeah, so, yeah. So yeah. you didn't feel like there was a lot of industry people there? No, no, no. I get what you're doing though. I get it. If there's I get more, it, I get it. I, look, 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 he's trying to. He he's calling it an industry mixer, but that just reaffirms when he called me Hollywood. You feel me? <laughs> So it's like, yeah, like, remember when I called him Hollywood? His birthday was a fucking industry mixer. I'm planting the seeds. Yes. No, yeah, I don't like, think I'm actually playing the seeds. I think I'm just calling it. I'm calling it a, a spade, spade of spade. spade. You know, so I, I'm just trying to break down the stigma of people being called Hollywood, because right now it's like you're seeing a lot of success, bro. You're in Hollywood. You're in the industry. Yeah, we live. It's in not Hollywood. a bad thing. Exactly. <laughs> we live it all. Yeah. Exactly. Take power. Take that power back. Okay. Take to that, that word. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> being Hollywood. Being industry. Don't ever try to tell me about taking power back from a word, bro. <laughs> yeah. That's like the that's most industry white, thing man. ever, huh? No, no, that's the most... Say I it. I don't know. Say it. Colonizer. No, nah, that's a... Uh, you're pandering. To who? Hey, what's the the industry? Hey, man. To colonizers. What's, what's explained don't gotta be understood. I mean... <laughs> that's so, also facts though. wait so you guys were there you guys didn't get that feel of an industry mixer it's, it's pretty nah. regular there, it's like, it's my, I just thought it was me and my friends yeah, I, was like, yeah, yeah, I honestly it was just felt friends. like a birthday dinner where it's like you, yo, you know, know a handful so of deeply people. in this shit yo we're at this industry but, mixer I look gay fuck <laughs> hold, on, hold on he's got a butt I got a butt yeah. I can also butt. say for for birthdays typically for me and this is just me I don't really like I mean, the last biggest thing I had where I actually had homies there was, like, my 21st. I was in Nevada. But besides, it's usually just, like, small, like, family. Wait, you said Nevada? You mean Vegas? Reno. 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh. Remember? That was basically that was, Vegas. 
<laughs> yeah, basically. But, basically. It's basically Vegas. Okay, a mini Vegas. But no, I I don't. Yeah, I don't. I haven't done no party like that before. I'm on the or same like tip. Dinner. Yeah, it like, caught me off guard too. I've, That's what I'm saying. I've, I've never done it before either, to be honest. I've gone to them, but yeah. I've never but I've never had a one. birthday dinner like with that many people. So you're basically validating everything I was saying. What does that mean? That oh, this well, these are all there were a lot of new booties at your at your, at your <laughs> birthday. Booties. My day ones. <laughs> there was but a like, lot of day threes yeah, and day ma- fours. Yeah, how many day ones were in there? One. Which was Dave. Dave was like day. Two. I met him like throughout throughout the first day. It was like <laughs> it was the day one and a half. Yeah, day one and a half. Um, it, it was the homegirl Patricia. Oh yeah. Notice his fourth Shout grade. Oh, what yeah, day that is was one that we're sitting across from? Yeah. What day? What day are you? Probably like. Day, day two, two or yeah, two point five. What about yeah, us? Sixty nine. <laughs> we're we're Kel- on different yeah, days. Yeah, Kel- Kel- different days. Kelvin's yeah. like two point six. You're like three. Three? Yeah. Cause I got uh, a theory. <coughs> What's your theory? Day twos and day threes are more important than day ones. Okay. Oh, that's a statement. Like, have I shared this? Have I shared this idea with you? Oh not God, necessarily. Bro. Have I shared this? Uh, my my reasoning behind this, bro. Just loner things. Tw- just tweeted because that. you just like, grow <laughs> as a person, and your day ones probably aren't. Hold you. And your day you. threes can take you. Nah, to but, nah, reach but, your highest potential because it is true. Exactly. Though. It is true. Like, because you're they, spinning they, right now, King. <laughs> king. No. <laughs> okay. I've been a king. Nah, but um, I feel like Black they, King. Black they, king. <laughs> Day ones, day ones were really like determined by like your environment and like um, you didn't really have a choice in your day. Yeah, ones. but I feel like we live in a culture yeah. where it's like we tr- we reward the day one shit when really it's like, bro, I don't know a lot of day ones that ain't shit right now. And there well, like, means you didn't choose the right day one. <laughs> but, it's like, but a lot you of don't my choose, days, you don't that's what I'm saying. Day ones, ones that are just still, around you. The, the day ones that are still around, they're around for a reason because they're on similar shit as like your day twos and threes. And I'm not but saying my day ones are not doing shit i'm just saying i knew some day ones that probably are no longer my day ones uh, okay. you know so Yo, <clears throat> but even my day ones now they're still like not they're really hanging on by a thread <laughs> it's just it's just as you i feel like as you get older <coughs> you obviously grow apart from your day ones and then you obviously make day twos and day threes coming together on a common goal so, for example, I consider us day twos, day threes, whatever. What brought us all Hooray. together? What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> work. <laughs> work in video. What are we you know calling day ones, like 18 and below? People that you met? Day ones. Nah, even high school, bro. Fuck that. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like 18 years old. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Younger. Yeah. Those are day ones. Yeah, back when, I feel like before um, before you move, you move out of your parents' house. Yeah, when that's you don't have a choice yeah, of environment. Yeah, you don't have a choice in, of environment, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I was just like, I don't know. Shout out to all the day twos and day threes. Damn, y'all, y'all might be my day ones then. Nah, mm-hmm. I, I met y'all living at my parents' crib. You didn't mean me. You didn't mean me, me, me. <laughs> yeah. And I was still at the birthday. That's you, crazy. You want some do I jump? Do I get to shit. jump? Huh? Like, do I get he's to trying like, to fuck? He's trying like to one up me. Can I take his yeah. spot in <laughs> whatever <laughs> category he is in? Because I was at the birthday dinner. Yeah. Yeah. He loses his rank. <laughs> Yeah, you just lost one. a day, bro. You just went up a tier, Brody. <laughs> and Trev, you just took a stroke off. Trev would have would have elevated you, but you wanted to get that fucking sea bass, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> nah, you good though. But yeah, th- thank you guys for coming. How much was the sea bass? The sea bass was sixty bucks. You're stupid. You should have just got the meat. Oh yeah, I was like, mine was like. Was it 40. unlimited sea bass? No, it no. Was one little piece, one little Fuck. smidgen. <laughs> nah, they. <laughs> <laughs> smidgen is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. hella sick that he got that. <laughs> nah, it was it was actually it was really fire. Like, who's, yeah. Whose birthday's next? Is it me? What's yours? yours? December. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yep. Oh yep. What? So you got a one up then? Yeah, you're going yeah. to catch and no Ooh. <laughs> Same night. Catch <laughs> for one appetizers. for lunch. And yeah, no, no, appetizers. <laughs> And then apartment two hundred for dessert, <laughs> oh Kelvin gosh. night. Yo, Cause that, but that's but y'all, y'all are the only ones invited though. Mm, you really day one shit. Loyal to your soil. Yeah. To, y'all got me though, right? Since it's my birthday. Oh I'll yeah, it's a little more thing. intimate than we gotta cover. Him. I yeah, think see, that is a saying. rule though. That is, yeah. But it's like I think on your birthday you should pay for everybody. No. Uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> when, when I got it like that, yeah, yeah. I think I would. For sure. Yeah. When yeah. I got it like that. On your birthday you should not pay for shit. Nah, when we're up though, I, I think I'm gonna just pay for everybody. It's my birthday type shit. 
Cool. Yeah. Not now though. Definitely not. <laughs> right now, y'all got. I'm gonna need y'all to split this bill. You wouldn't do that. I heard you, true. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you said cool. <laughs> yeah, I was oh, like, we're, we're, we're done talking about that. Bro. Like, no, but. <laughs> you're funny for just letting it slide. Like, yeah, I fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. I think that's just a thing, though. Where it's just like, we're definitely in that age group where it's like, damn, a lot of like. Now I feel like it's a lot more established, but these past five years, it's kind of shaky on like, all right, I gotta kind of keep in mind who I'm gonna invite to this dinner, like. Some people our age don't have what eighty bucks to spend on endless meat. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where it's like, but also at the same time, it's like it's my birthday. I'm gonna do what I want. It's not my. You guys are covering my meal. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know? I don't know. Cause it's like, bro. I don't I, think like that. That, for a, that dinner at Cheesecake Factory would have been way different than whatever the fuck it was called. Fogo de Chao. Fogo de Chao. Fogo de Chao. That's all I'm saying, bro. Like, know, I'd come bro hey, hey bro, next year I'll I'll go somewhere else, bro. Like, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, I'm, not I'm, just I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just kidding. breaking down the scenario. I think you know. You guys don't think about that. I think at any you level, guys you don't have to budget it. out. Like, oh we damn, don't. I got two homies' uh, birthday this month. Like, I'm gonna be going out because it was Nick's birthday and your birthday. So it was back to back like weekends of shit. I'm just spending money back, on back to back pocket bangers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where it's like, fuck. It's your birthday too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah my bad, bro. <laughs> no, no, it's not. A, oh. I should have went somewhere else, bro. It's not a bad thing. I got. I, I was great. I didn't get the. I didn't ball out. Yeah, but we still split the bill like just evenly, basically. Yeah, because I th- you're supposed to pay. You're supposed to give a little extra to cover your fucking meal. That's Man. what I'm saying. It's like they didn't do that. Who didn't? It sounds like some industry. No, nah, I'm not. Are y'all pretty? Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was just I don't know, man. We, I ain't worried about it. You feel me? Well, it was a good it, time. Yeah, it was a good time. That's all that matters. So stop bringing up <laughs> other shit about it. That's not a good time. <laughs> What's the official ruling on uh, buying day twos and threes gifts for their birthday? Are we doing that? I think it's I'll just, be honest. It's just, I don't, where, it's just where I'm at financially, to be honest. I'm, that part, because I don't think I've ever bought. I bought. You, I don't know. It's, I feel I don't like think I've ever bought y'all gifts before. Maybe you just bought, little. You bought me a, a meal on my birthday. Okay, yeah. That's a gift. But like a present, like a pre, like wrapped in mm, the whole. Like night. a keychain. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I don't <laughs> like a keychain. I might give some. No, but I think I've given some stuff. Or like I've definitely we've definitely done like favors for each other or some shit like. For your birthday, yeah, here's like, a couple Addies, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a good birthday <laughs> gift. Good birthday. Hey, AB got me a birthday Very gift. Very practical. I did. What'd yeah. you get him? Don't trip, bro. <laughs> don't trip. Birthday set. Don't trip. Got him a pocket. Okay, pussy. what is that? Nah, just don't trip, man. When I pop out with it, don't, don't ask about it. It's that fake Richard <laughs> Millie. Oh, I got him two I was, Richard Millies. I was saying, it. I wish I would have got one of those, and I announced it at the birthday dinner at the table. <laughs> that would have been the oh wettest shit. Yeah. Would we have embarrassed you? A, no, because that's actually an ultimate flex. Like, look, like I, I didn't get myself one. I could, I have enough to just cop my hands. <laughs> Richard Millie. You get the glass and do the thing. <laughs> just make a no. toast. Hey, I, I, I want to. I got a few words. Bro, like you really inspired me. Like I'm so proud of you, son. Like that's you. That's son. <laughs> well, you should have done that. That's like content. yeah. No, that would have been <laughs> hilarious. I would have been like, no way. Bro. You guys all put together like 200 bands and got no. <laughs> what? We could have did so much more with this, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> could have got my own spot, bro. We could have, <laughs> yeah. Not for real, like y'all shouldn't have. <laughs> you really shouldn't you really have, bro. Should like, have. <laughs> y'all are tripping. <laughs> but now nah, that would have been funny. Uh, yeah. That's a good idea for next year when you guys forget in a couple weeks. Mm. <laughs> yeah. 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 You could always, you could always just give the homie a couple addies and just call it a day. Yeah. But um, or Mr. W- what, what was the question? The ruling on uh, buying day twos and threes gifts? Because I buy my family gifts. Those are the really the only people I buy gifts for. Those are the real day ones. Those are day zeros. Yeah, yeah those are day negative ones. <laughs> yeah, negative ones. I think it just depends on you, for real. I'm more of like, if you gave me a gift, I'm going to give you a gift. But if you can never be the first one giving a gift, I can. You'll never be out here looking stupid. I'm, I'm, <laughs> that's, what, bro, that's, that's how really you'll really never really catch me out here. You'll never have to catch me out here fucking. It's not how I you think. You think I'm going to be the first one? Fuck no. I feel bitch. like I gift a lot in real time. 
where I give people like shit all the time. Yeah. Like just I give just, you like, my attention. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, yeah, and like um, and if you get them a birthday gift, like it's harder to throw it in their face when it's a birthday gift. The, but the other shit. Yeah, the other shit. You're like, I'm kind of petty if you keep tabs for it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But the birthday gift. Oh, cause I didn't get you a birthday gift. Nah, I was just kidding. And you be throwing shit in people's faces. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I'm all, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. kidding again. Now people really think you, you got him a birthday beefing. gift. Nah. He I just gave it. you a birthday gift. Uh, he did. I mean, what'd yeah, you get him? He, he, huh? he paid for my valet. I paid for his valet. I gave him. I'm not even gonna. I'm, bro, <laughs> that's not a gift. That's just good Samaritan. You gave him a gift? <laughs> no. Kind of. Who, wait, so out of everyone right here, out of out of everyone sitting here, you gave you and Abe gave me a gift. Don't get the fuck out of gift. here. Then what are you guys trying to put on me? No, I'm no. giving him gifts. This is just convenient. No. You were the yeah, first nah. person that convenient. asked about the valet shit. I was like, yo, you didn't offer it. It wasn't like you. It wasn't like. Hey man, let me get you something. What can I do? It was like yeah, there was no thoughtfulness in this. It, it yeah. was no thought. It was just like, it was a question he yeah. he never had to ask for that gift. It was like some homeless people <laughs> shit. Like I, I oh know. god, that's how I was thinking. He did like, come up sir, to me like, like, hey bro, can I use your snap with the, with your the snap can, bro? Yeah, basically. <laughs> and Please, now you're sir. trying to count it as a gift. Yeah, now you're trying to eat like equate Damn, yourself with crazy. AB, who, who was like who was in a different country, thought of me, and was like, I'm, I bet you my gift cost more than AB's gift. No, no, it didn't. It didn't. No, it didn't. It didn't. His gift was mm. triple yours, buddy. Ooh. <laughs> 60 bucks. And your shit was 60 flag. bucks? No, mine was 20. It's Plus like that like gift I just double. gave you right now. It was like, it was like huh? double. Like but it doesn't matter about the price anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you're the one, bringing, you're the one bringing up gifts and shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's the thought that counts. That's what I thought. It's about the action. Did I? Did I? Did I improve so, your so birthday? You think I improved gift, his birthday? You did think, you improve his birthday? Do you think? Thank your you. Gift? Oh thank you. Hey, thank what you. Is so, do you think the gift that you gave him is better than the gift that AB brought back for me and you, or is it just cool? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. think my gift Cause yours had no thought He at least had some thought about it All the way across the ocean no, no, no. I don't give a fuck about that It's about <laughs> impact My gift had impact And Okay His and shit had impact too Like cause I really felt that shit though So I guess You <laughs> felt how weak like, it was Is what you were saying <laughs> <laughs> And if he parked on the street Would you have paid the meter Nah he wasn't gonna do all that uh, Yeah yeah, yeah, I definitely would have. I'm not convinced with that yet. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Pay the sure. meter, that's three bucks. What are you talking about? Pay the meter? That's but what if you park? No, and you got to. That's the thing. It's you like gotta, you're not thinking about. It's only one hour at a time, so you got to double back. And what? <laughs> you you got to go feed the meter. Mid-dinner, yeah, first. mid-dinner, yeah. Hey, bro, I hope you enjoyed your gift. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Kelvin, appreciate you, all your uh, you guys still owe him a gift, so. Well, bro, I mean, you got, set the bar pretty crazy, crazy, so I mean, Think like, about that. Bro, just I, think about I, that. I don't need any gifts from y'all, man. Like, just being friends with y'all is enough. You know what I mean? You guys bless me every day. Oh, I bless him every day. Oh, all right. But hold on, though. Wait, does it say what? something? <laughs> does it say something? Bro, that... bro, he's always asking if something says something. <laughs> bro, like... <laughs> Bro, like, wait, shit, bro. Is it pretty telling that? Is like, it yeah, telling yeah, yeah. that he went up to me? He's like, oh, I'm gonna get this sucker, bro. He's <laughs> not, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him, bro. Yeah. Bro's good for it. Like, nah. I'm gonna. Oh, he got me. He man. always folds. I'm gonna get him. Nah, it's my man's right here. <coughs> Why didn't you ask Kelvin? Kel- I don't. He Kel- was right hiding. next to me. Was- <laughs> this is my partner. No, no, you were closer. To, you were, you were on this. You guys were walking like t- towards me. And you were just closer. So I was like, yo, Trev, you got some cash. I would have asked him right after. You, you didn't no. even ask for cash. I did. You said, hey, bro, you got a cash app? No, he said, no, he was you like, you have ca- $15 or, or something And I'll like pay you, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, and guess what? Okay, I put some yeah. thought into it, and I said, you don't even got to pay me back. Happy birthday. Nah. Throwing it How's in my that yeah. How does that work? Look at this. How does that work? How does that work? I'm just asking. <laughs> what did I say? Yeah. It's his birthday. Honestly, if you did say that, that would just seem crazy. Oh my god. No, because he offered. And I to didn't pay. even ask to like <laughs> you cause, cause on his birthday, if you it would have looked crazy if you were like, Yeah, uh, yeah, I got you like get it back to me whenever. That would sound crazier no, than that to the no, birthday. No, that, no because no, he came he came in premeditated. He knew, hey, it's my birthday. He's going to be a fucking dickhead. <laughs> bro, if I go up to him and be like, hey, bro, you got money? I'm going to cash up you. If he accepts and asks for, for my cash app, <laughs> that says a lot. Yo. That's telling. 
It's fucking strategy, bro. He he knows what he's doing, dog. <laughs> no. I hey, what? hats off, bro. Happy birthday. <laughs> hats off. Hats off. I would have done the same thing. thing. Happy birthday. I would have done the same thing. Come on, so man. Yeah, think about his crazy hey, that you got. got that cur- <laughs> bro, you saying, hey, just I'm a cash app you for something on your birthday. Think about that. Oh. Wait, bro. So the perspective of like of where I'm coming from is like, yo, you're my man's. You're. You're you're walk you're you're right next to me after I just talked to the valet guy. You don't think I could have just been like, yo, like, do you have any cash? You you don't think that could have there was no thought behind it. You don't think you think it was all premeditated, like, like yo, Trev's a bitch. So I, <laughs> like no, you, no, no, no. I don't think so. I I, I guess I would hope so. I just you know, it's fun to, to ponder. To, it's, yeah, trying yeah, to just uh, okay, see yeah, if yeah. see how you're feeling, but you know. But I'm, thank but, you for clarifying. Yeah, I'm telling you what it is, bro. You didn't think that. You. Would, I don't, I, would I like, don't think you and I, Kelvin are gay. Like, I, no, no, like, bro, I'm not thinking this deep. Pause. I mean, <laughs> or it could be deep. It could be deep. How deep it? No. I'm just thinking. <laughs> I'm just thinking. It's way more funner to imagine you coming out on your birthday in the parking lot, seeing you have to pay. You look up. Where's Trevor? <laughs> where's <laughs> not Trevor, really. Bro. Even hey, where's hey, Trevor? That's funny though. That's pretty funny. Where's Trevor? Is crazy. <laughs> I gotta find it. Where's that Mickey Mouse fucking? Sweater? I seen his bitch ass order the sea bass. He got twenty dollars yeah, left yeah, on his fucking spare. unlimited <laughs> meat. <laughs> <laughs> the meat was eighty. The sea bass was sixty. There's twenty dollars left on that tab. But no, nah, either way, man. I, I'm glad you got a birthday. <laughs> <laughs> either way, it's fucking so happy, crazy. Happy birthday, bro. That's so crazy. crazy, bro. You're really just like I've never <laughs> seen someone backpedal. Uh, I'm not backpedaling. Facts are facts. I got him a gift. I enjoyed the night. It was a great <laughs> night. For you to have that commentary and then claim it as a gift, I'm it's not. Like, but I'm not. What commentary? It's like self Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> what <like>. commentary? <laughs> I'm just defining, uh, defining a gift. You're a narcissist, bro. <laughs> bro. Like, hey, hold on. Thank you. Thank you for the gift. I, I will never have... See, my- a narcissist Wait. would have been mad that you didn't ever no, say no, thank no, you. No, 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 no. Listen, I listen, said, hey, listen. bro, you keep that. Listen, Kept I will never you. have my birthday dinner where you're there at Fogo de Chao again. No, that's not no, what no, I'm no. saying, though. You feel me? Um, no, I want the invite. Ne- next time, it won't be an industry mixer. Like, but, what, what? Why are you... Okay. Oh, hold on. Oh, see, the tables have turned. Why I'm am just- I what? I'm just confused on why you're taking the information I'm giving you and feeling as it as if it's something negative I'm saying. You're gaslighting me. <laughs> <laughs> you're literally gaslighting yeah, me. You're going crazy. How? You're literally How? You go dumb. Like, you go really dumb. go bro, dumb for that. Bro, I'm glad you can see it. I found out like the third or fourth episode. I'm like, yo, he's, he's one of them ones. I'm just saying, how is me calling it an industry mixer just, just, a negative thing, bro? That's it. tight. Like industry mixers, you RSVP to industry mixers. You, <coughs> it's like if you're, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's not a bad thing, bro, bro, bro. It's not about the words, just about the smirk you had on your face when you told <laughs> me that. Like, bro, come on, you know what you're doing, you know who you are. Come on. He's the potter. Just imagine if He's he was potter. your boyfriend, Kelvin. Br- uh, that's oh, not that, would, yeah, that wouldn't last. Huh. You guys would have. Hey, Kelvin would never treat you like this, huh? That's crazy. I wouldn't go to Damn. Fogo de Chao for my birthday. Imagine a heated argument with Trev. Like you're gaslighting me. When you're the, I, if you're in a like a couple situation with him, like for his girlfriend, you be. He's probably a great politicker. Yeah, you Don't probably you probably be. Or do you, are you do you, you probably you surrender? Be weaseling yourself out of situations <laughs> you probably shouldn't be able to weasel out of because you got a mouthpiece. Don't ever on say you. I'm weaseling. <laughs> bro, you're a sleaze ball. <laughs> Weasling's crazy. You might be more as I'm sitting in between ever. two people on the couch right <laughs> yeah. now. It's nuts. You're more a weasel. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you a gift though. Okay. Huh? A weasel I gave, gave you a gift. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but continue. Nah, man. I I like to take I like to take the approach. So like my mom is a is a therapist. Oh, we're okay. So okay. you know I feel like I have a little bit of insight on how to uh, take people's feelings and you know how to properly communicate. It's it, trust me, it's been work. I'm 20 years old. This has not been like I was born this way. Listen, we're not even talking about. I'm still about working that. on it, but I'm just saying. We're talking about you creating narratives. I don't create narratives. I just He's, facts are facts. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a narrative if if it's a fact. It's an autobiography or a biography or something so else. So it was a fact that it was an industry mixer. No, I never said it was a fact. I'm just saying it might have felt like that. It could fit. Might have? Okay. <laughs> now it might have felt like that. <laughs> okay. 
Did you guys ever? Do you guys feel like that at all? Okay, now, he's try, now, he's trying, now he's trying to justify it by getting. By getting a fr- yeah, okay. I'm just asking. Bro, I'm good. just asking. Bro, he's good, bro. He's good. Because all it takes is one person to be like, oh, yeah, God. Oh, bro, see? See? Because <laughs> they good, felt, bro. bro. Kelvin told me on the way home. He's like, yeah, they yeah, feel like an industry makes Kelvin well, told me bro. on the way home. Throws him under the bus. Nice. Yeah, no, I would hate to be a good son. No, no, no. I'm good, bro. I'm good. I would, sm- I would smoke you, though. Okay. In a, in a gaslighting contest? Like, yes, in, in a gaslighting contest. We could run that. that. But who's in the wrong? Like, who's that, trying to get out thing. of what? You're never that, in the wrong. <laughs> you're never <laughs> in the wrong. <laughs> you're a real gaslighter. If you're in the wrong, you lost. <laughs> you even believe that for a second? <laughs> you're going to lose. It's survival of the fittest. You're never Mamba mentality. Wrong. You're never wrong as a gaslighter. <laughs> <laughs> it's, there's always a but. There's always, like, well, also... Um, but that's that's kind of the scary part about like good podcasters it's like there is a little bit of like narcissism in them yeah you have to be I, yeah I, I think like some of the top podcasters are have a narcissistic trait like who I'm not <laughs> <laughs> well I mean I mean people call Joe Budden's uh, definitely, narcissistic definitely. you know what I'm saying so it's just like I, I've been watching a lot of him lately and I just see how he plays. <laughs> I can tell. I've been taking some notes. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. He was in the mirror practicing. He was like, ah, what, they, what he did to Roy Malchi. <laughs> That's a good one, Joe. Good one. <laughs> yeah, man. Shout out to Joe Budden, though. Shout but I, I'm just, you know. Or I'm, just, I'm just saying, it's like, there's like key attributes to like some some of the like top one percent. But wait, narcissistic in what in what way? And where they do like kind of gaslight, like honestly, like we're joking right now. I don't feel like I'm a gaslighter. Um, obviously, I feel like I can't. Like you could always like. I feel like people can always feed into the like the negative aspect, but once you like take accountability for your actions and like address that first, whether with an argument or someone like that's probably the best way to handle it. But like, I feel like people are aware when they are like gaslighting or like not taking accountability and just like trying to throw every excuse out or maybe they're not but i feel like for the for the most time like subconsciously i feel like deep down sometimes you know like or at least you catch yourself or at least i have where i'm just like damn like where I'm wrong. Like it I'm, I'm wrong. Right, right. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. But, but I, my I, I ego, re- my pride is. I feel like sometimes to take this L. I'm not taking the L. Like yeah. It, it depends. I feel like there's times where I can recognize it in the moment, and there's times where it's like looking back. I'm just like, damn, I actually was. See, it takes me that time yeah. to look back. It, it takes me that whether it's two hours after the whatever or a day, yeah. you gotta have some self reflection. Definitely. Cause it's I mean, bro, like, cause that's the most frustrating thing about like arguing with someone this is the therapy pod okay go ahead man like why do two people argue um people have different feelings there's two oh. points that they believe in it's that are conflicting not all the time no. sometimes they can have the same point but delivery things can get lost in translation tone like people they can have the same they, they bro the whole time they can be on the same page but the thing is it's just communication i think yeah. i think that's what it is communication yeah, because, like, in high school, bro, I was, like, really intrigued with, like, debates mm-hmm. and, like, uh, you know what I'm saying, like, like constructing an argument, you know, having a valid argument, points behind your argument. Like it, oh, you were it, passionate about this. Well, it's like, actually, I'm going to win every, every conversation in life. But it's, like, that's, like, a real thing. Like, debates, like, I think that that's, like, scholarly. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That, that's a that, debate class in college. I like, mean, it's... being able to... I, I don't know. Yeah, no. Go no, ahead. let me hear what you're saying. My bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to interrupt. I was like, like that's it. I just always on a bit. I was like, it, it, it is, but it isn't. Like, cause I feel like sometimes, like, people think shit's a debate when it's not. You know. But like, why is it not a debate? Because you're already sold on how you feel, on how you think, or yeah, or, I like, or or I'm just trying to communicate. with Yeah, you. I was like, sometimes it doesn't have to be a debate. Even, yeah. Like I've already agreed with myself that we, but that we don't have to share the same, the same, same thoughts. You know what I mean? So it's like I'm just trying to communicate with you, and people think sometimes think that's arguing. If that makes sense, and that's but the, I also and think yeah, people get too caught up in the delivery the tone, all these things, and yeah. it could affect them to where like, all right, I'm, try- I'm not like- trying to have a debate with you. I'm trying to have a conversation, but maybe the person isn't even being that heavy about it. Yeah. It's like you felt a certain type of way about the way they said 
It's cool. Insane. I feel That's like debate. Cool. Yeah, exactly. Cool. exactly. Cool. I but like I mean, it's, Texas is different. Yeah, they stem from Texas. Way somebody different. not feeling yeah. understood or heard. Yeah. I feel like that's the only reason why you end up arguing with somebody is because you feel like e- e- they e- don't understand your emotion, point. Emotions yeah. are involved. You, they don't understand your point or you haven't proven your point. Because that's two different things. That's two way two different things. You're right. Because because you could feel like you could feel like you haven't proven your point when they've already understood your point. Or the opposite where I feel like you get you get more frustrated where it's like, I have this point that I'm trying to convey to you to kind of change how you're feeling or how you're thinking. Yeah. And it's not clicking for you. No, you may. So the thing is, you may think that it's not clicking for them, but sometimes it, it's they're not just, capable no, of but, understanding. No, no, no. Your ego. The thing is, they they sometimes they, they do. got it clearly. No, no, they, no, no. They they got it, but your ego is like they didn't they didn't give you the reaction that you wanted. You don't think that they and got that it the way sense. you. Yes. But what is the reaction you want? The you would you, want the you would you, want understanding. No, no. You don't want. You don't even want a reaction. Understa- understanding doesn't require a reaction. You just want. If you truly wanted them to understand, then even if they're passive aggress- aggressive, like man, yeah, like whatever, it. all that shit wouldn't matter. You wouldn't. You wouldn't keep arguing. It's like all right. You, as long as you understand, you feel me. But your ego is like nah, like this isn't how I thought it was gonna go in my head. So like you, you don't you, feel you, me you, enough. Yeah, you, you must not understand. Us. Oh, it's a tricky one. And some yeah. people like to hear themselves talk, it's, so it's like, oh my god, bro. Well, I think yes. it's just it's super. I want to get this point out. I'm gonna get the point out, even if you're listening or not. Type shit. So it's that's it's a whole different. That should realm. be blowing me. People who can't just like read a vibe or like can understand when somebody's already checked out of a conversation. I'm on this. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> bro, no, that's crazy, bro. It happens to me like a lot. Damn, like, that's like, crazy. Like when I'm out, like when I'm outside, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like this dude probably had like one or two beers and now bro, now he's just rapping his whole album to me bro mm. no features bro like bro, just rapping to me N- not literally rapping but like but bro yeah, like just, just chatting chop bro like bro spewing spewing all right how much do how much does patience come into play in this whole thing too A because lot. it's like if one of i feel like patience is probably more important factor when it comes to debate or arguing rather than your ego because you can have a big ego, but if you have patience, bro, ego doesn't get you anything. That's what created all this is ego. Yeah. So ego is a negative thing. You you look at ego as a negative no, thing. No, I mean like it can be. It's, it can be destructive. Good. Yeah, I was like, I feel like ego is good in in like small doses. Essentially, like I think your ego kind of keeps you going, but at the same time, like too much of it is like is I don't know. I f- yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's what I'm saying. In 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 the circumstance of an argument with someone if we're measuring ego and if we're measuring patience on like what's more important i think you could still have a healthy ego but have like lack of patience and then that brings more conflict or you have a healthy ego and or like a high ego even and then you have high patience that that could like make the difference on like how long we're actually going to argue and like if we're actually going to argue because if you're patient and you're actually co- trying to comprehend what the person is saying rather than argue what they're saying yeah, and if your ego isn't that big it's like you understand that like both sides can be right yeah. in any situation so I'm like even anything just a with a high bit, ego I feel like it's cutting fucked. off that like I feel like I feel like ego is like you're like, automatically like I have to, like I'm right in some capacity like I that has to be like verified for me to get past whatever it is like your ego is like it's me but i think okay so so what about this though like if i'm gonna take the time to sit here and explain how i'm feeling and make sure you comprehend it Uh doesn't that kind of like like isn't you could argue that like that requires patience but if but also it's like not satisfied but you if you're not satisfied after the fact with just um, expressing yourself like if you feel like it still needs to be validated after that then that's where your ego is, is yeah. coming in you know? it's at, like, at that point you're giving and expecting to receive yeah it's like yeah it's like a means to an end type shit you feel what I'm saying though like where it's like if I'm taking the time to put but I think it's just knowing where this you, effort where into putting, this combo yeah where you're where you're putting your energy in Oh, so that could you I, could still have a high ego. You I, know what I'm saying? Where it's Cause like, because like, because yeah. even like, even even the gesture was me was like I dropped a lot of my ego to 
to to do th- to even do this you know what i mean and so and people not even recognizing that is that what you're saying yeah or or just the fact it's like if i got a big ego my ego is so big i don't give a fuck if you don't understand me i'm not this is what i'm saying i'm giving you five minutes or whatever and if you don't understand i'm, I'm done with the convo that that's what people associate with having a big ego boyfriend of the year right there no i'm just saying no, I'm just that's like, what people correlate playing. having like they they say like, like oh i got a big that, ego that's a but, level of an ego no like, but you could still be... come through with a gentle ego like i could have a big ego and my ego is so big it's like i'm gonna take the time to try to break this down to have you comprehend it i feel like that's you stroking your ego though. you feel what i'm saying yeah because you want because you're just like talk. you're just well no it's just the you sense of like get this shit off. it's just the sense of like Honestly, you have I'm no way value. bigger than the, you're, you're saying. Like I'm way bigger than this. Like I really like. You're usually not really even worth my time. Like it's a blessing that I'm even taking this much time to even and that's your do e- this. That's your, ego. that's your ego saying like, bro. Like the fact that I'm even giving you this much time is a blessing. That's not really. Yeah, you like, better listen. To yeah, that's not really like giving you five minutes. Dumbing yeah. down yeah. your ego. I feel like that's I, like. Yeah, because I don't think you should have a timed yeah, limit on a conversation. A conversation should end when it ends. And it's like it's up to you if you have that patience that day to have that conversation, mm. whether how long it is. Yo, what happened this week, bro? No, no, no. <laughs> I, no I'm just saying, like, I'm just trying to. Cause nah, I get some it. days are I, different. I'm, it's like I don't have the patience to have a whole thirty-minute convo with a random stranger, but some yeah. days I am. Yeah. yeah. And it's just and, whatever I'm up to. And that that's day. why I think patience is more important than ego. It's like you could, like, your ego can be, like, a person with a big ego can. Sp- like we th- that's what i'm trying to say is like we associate with having a big ego with like having those uh characteristics of you know of a lack of patience or five uh, five minutes or i'm not gonna i'm not saying i associate like if i have a big ego then i'm that yeah. i'm just saying you could still have a big ego and like your ego be so big you have to prove your point and in order to prove my point i have to have some patience and put in a lot of time to have you comprehend it i agree now i feel you but i also feel like ego is subjective to everybody everybody has their own definition of ego you know what i mean yeah so, yeah so uh, thanks for your insight on yours i'm just not on mine i'm just well, saying on the no, on I, like i think i, I like this lot. like the this like the our when we think of ego what do we think of we already asso- we build a person based on that word yeah we don't build descriptive like characteristics ego, of so, like what an ego is. And that just makes me want to look it up. I'm still trying to understand ego, honestly. And yeah. Read I, people. I feel like I'm still trying to get a grasp on it, but... What do Define I feel, what do ego. What do I ego as? I know the... Con- means a person's sense of self-esteem or self-importance. Hmm. Okay, so then we could say if I'm taking the time... That's a... Sh- that's what I'm saying. It's that's like that, 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 that is that is that's ego. not that's. Oh. We need to ask Chat GPT <laughs> to draw us a picture. What ego looks like? <laughs> he draws a self portrait. Kanye West. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't even know if I'm what I'm trying to say is making sense. But no, it, I just think it's kind of interesting. Like draw, there is like, a draw like like on the like, yeah like patience ego or because it's it's a weird thing. It's like. Kanye has a big ego and I can associate that with like what you're saying it's like he may not you may not feel like he has the time of day to even but associate himself with the common folk whatever the fuck but like Virgil in the same sense it's like same just as big globally type shit you know what I mean it's like he was viewed as like an egoless person as far as like how he was perceived and that was all just perception we don't really yeah. we don't really know but and the thing is like, yeah. I feel like by the true definition that ego has is like Damn, some of us should have ego. Some some of us should have a big ego of like um feeling good about yourself. I feel like having an ego is healthy. Sometimes I but think I can but I can also see why like um people who are driven off of their ego, like um sometimes you can crash out doing that because um, I think it's when you project your ego is when it's bad. Like I feel like having a great idea of self and yeah. of who you are to yourself is great and like you should think of yourself to yourself as the highest being. Or just one. It should, but it should just be one you of y'all. You shouldn't, like, yeah, it's like you shouldn't outwardly, like, put that on people that you interact with in life as far as, like, where it's you... It's like s- a scoreboard. Yeah, or, like, like comparing yourself. You know what I mean? It's like, like I feel like that's when the ego is, is detrimental or it can be seen as, like, negative. Like, 
Nah, for real. Nah, All right, so yo, uh, and, and fans, if you want to have a conversation like this with you guys, Mr. Mushy's man, just <laughs> <laughs> pop you a, a little pop, square two. Pop you a little uh, little bar gummy. two. Maybe the whole yeah. bar. A bar three. But coming back to the conversation of who would win in a gaslight competition. Okay. Oh, wow. I think you would win. Why do you think that? Because you're good at it. This is gaslighting. Look at him. <laughs> Bruh. You're the gas here. I'm the gaslighter. Yeah. He's you're the, the gaslighter. Gas. No, no, he's he's gas not accepting just... He's wait, not wait, accepting wait. what I'm saying, and he's putting it back on me. No, no, no. I'm no, the no, gaslighter. No, 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 no. I'm no, the no. gaslighter. No, no, no. Got that 91 octane. Bro, 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 yeah. bro, you hit me with the reverse uno. No. You, That's what a gaslighter does. No, you tried to hit me with the reverse, and I reversed it back. You, Bro, you gave me the compliment, but the thing is, is like... I think calling. that's like a backhand yes, compliment because bro. it's like you would beat me in a gas like yeah, yeah. <laughs> but is that a good thing, <laughs> bro? So we, now like, I can't compliment the. No, moment. wait, wait, wait. Look, he's doing it. You're <laughs> hella good. Bro, he's oh so my good. god, <laughs> bro. Hey, I'm glad we can catch it, bro. How long you been doing it? <laughs> oh my god, bro. He's so good. So now I can't compliment the homie. But hey, but I also have a theory that anybody that. Call somebody a no, gaslighter yeah, is a gaslighter. Literally accuses somebody of gaslighting is a gaslighter because you don't know because you that's takes one and no one, right? Yeah, not even that, but that automatically invalidates someone's feelings. You're, and that's one thing I've learned being in a relationship for four years or whatever. You gotta get good you know, at you that shit, bro. Some feelings, you, yeah, no, that, you but that's do. important. Whether but but that's helped me. Even you gotta gaslight with the homies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or you just gaslight. No, you yourself. Don't. You gotta gaslight yourself into thinking these feelings are valid. <laughs> I'm no, I'm just playing. That was ooh, I'm good. <laughs> no, but you definitely have to val like because dude, one of the, like that's like when it clicked for me sometimes is when I heard like don't uh like shake that I'll be drop that da, da, da. <laughs> No, like like don't uh like take in information to understand, not to re rebuke or to like uh rebuttal. Yeah, really listening and not, not, but, not just waiting for your turn to speak. But do we, yeah. I'm, I know tons of people who won't even listen to what you're saying. Your day ones. I mean, I've done it too, where it's like, you don't even want to hear it. I have a point to prove. Um, you're just waiting for this person to finish talking. Ex so exactly. Can, so Isn't that the really most frustrating thing? Fire your ass it's up. like, I'm cooking right now. Yeah. Like, or I'm, you're just like, constantly hey, honestly, defending. Honestly, because you're, you're thinking about your response while they're talking. Or but something. a part of validating like, feelings is making people feel heard. And a part of making feel people feel heard is it's, listening it's to what they're saying. Yeah. So it's like, okay. Comprehension. I hear what you're saying. Or, but once that butt comes in, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That butt. But I just feel what like. what you did last week? See, that's the <laughs> fucked up part. Because it's like, as soon as you say, but now they're not listening to anything you're about to say. Bro, they're like, oh, you're not listening. So now they're effect. cooking up the next Snowball thing. Snowball effect, like, bro. The thing is, I feel like that's how, that's how a lot of relationships get toxic. I feel yeah. like, bro. I, bro. So and even nasty yeah because we're all at different levels of like understanding whether it's ourselves or communication or like how to handle things yeah so it's like damn like you i could be evolved or they could be evolved a little bit more evolved and my lack of a, like involvement brings them more frustration yeah. or less because they're more involved but you know you get what i'm saying but, where it's just like but that's just that's just your perception i feel like you're putting feelings onto other people at that point though how I feel like even determining if they're at at if you or them or at are at, what did you say as evolved evolve yeah Jesus like Christ like in terms of just like okay like you're actually validating my feelings okay and, and it's like it was just an interesting word you use yeah like so like say like you ever talk to someone who is just on a on a lower level of consciousness bro bro that's ego it's not a lower level it's not yeah, ego no, that's it's, not it's, ego it's, that's no no no, no I've met people on on different wavelengths. You feel me? On different it's, vibrations. It's a level of consciousness, bro. Okay. Some people are so yes, in I, their bubble. Okay, yeah. Now, I gave you the PC answer. Yeah, I know, bro. Yeah, I, I have met those. <laughs> Go ahead. So, I'm just saying, it's like, even even if it's like, a old, like for example, that, that like an old head talking to a younger dude about like expertise, mm -hmm. like... You, I could tell, like the old heads are always gonna have the most knowledge, but the young dudes are never gonna take it some, because they're sometimes, like sometimes the old heads don't know shit as well, yeah. bro. That's true too. Like yeah. just saying something you know. I feel like that's some I'm, that's some shit where it's like um, if you've ever, if you ever had older siblings, it's like uh, sometimes they'll f they get the feeling that like oh you like you can't never tell me nothing because you were always the young one. You know what I mean? Mm. I feel like yeah. that's it, it's not exactly the same, but it's similar to that. It's like um, I seen you I grow already, up. Like I already know. 
I don't know, man. I don't, I don't even know where. Yeah, I'm where going they kind of correlate like sen- like age with seniority and yes, like expertise exactly, exactly. and like knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And shit. we should we shouldn't equivalent that with that. I think. Age is just I think it's right. more. I think it's regular. Bro, it's, it's, it's a about experiences, like, bro. Yeah, like, for sure. Like, it's about experience. You could be eighty years old, but you lived in. You've been in the house hall all your life. You've been in the house, or you or you were just doing shit you weren't supposed to be doing. Now you trying to put me on on, but on that. But sometimes I feel like the old head who's done through, sh- who's gone through shit that like their, their wisdom is because they've gone through that. And it's like, hey, bro, don't do what, don't do what I was doing. Like, I fucked up. Depends on if they're speaking from that place. Okay. Like, you can tell. You know? Okay. But, but also, general, it, wait, 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 it goes, wait, 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 but you guys does, are going how down does, to how like, this, how do we like, like, how do we, uh, Deem an old head as credible, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? But yeah, that's yeah. like a whole different topic. But, but yeah, but let's circle back. Well, what does this have to do with uh, ego? You were saying, but that that same conversation is if the person who's receiving that guidance is willing to listen to it or not. Exactly. Wait, wait are you and, open to receiving, or are they are, or are they you, conscious or enough you, or to think about? Like, yeah, the big see, picture. Yeah, 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 back to what you were saying. Like you asked us if we if we've ever talked to anybody that you just knew was on a, a a lower level of consciousness. Yes, I felt like that, but I don't like to think that. Yeah, it's not like, like I'm looking down at you. It's just, it's like, it's like you're they're fur, they're further that way. It's just like, damn, I wish I wish you understood how I understand because I was like yeah. that too. Okay. I was in that I was I'm in that mentality. Like that. Yeah, I've definitely felt like that. Where it's like. Damn, like, like, and I can't I even hope your eyes you. open one day, bro. Yeah, like, I can't even explain it to you. Like, yeah, like I, I feel, feel like, like yeah, well, I, I don't know. I don't think I'd consider it like a lower level of consciousness. I wouldn't either. Like, I feel like it's that just, just like, sounds bad, but like, it, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a diff, just like, a diff, they're like a different, different, immature, they like they comes from a yeah, lack of like, maturity. No, 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 everything you're saying is like down, down, down. Like, I feel like they're just like a lack of experiences. Like, they're at a different part in their journey. Yeah, they haven't, they haven't crossed some bridges yet. Yeah, and it's a lot of the same thing. It's like there's shit that you like, like, bro. Look at the adjective (laughs) you just use it, bro. You ever played Pokemon? Huh? Yes, evolve. Don't they evolve? Yeah, little homie, and then they turn into (laughs) big homie. (laughs) That's what life is all about. Yeah, but I feel like the words you're using is like very high hierarchy type type words. Look at you guys. Oh, Karen. Oh, man. You're just trying to call him the R word at this point. The R word? Yeah. <laughs> Retarded? Yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. I don't lie. Damn. Nah, I okay, so, different. but no, different. Jump, no jumper rubbed off on you. Well, I buddy. I'm going to be self aware then. I'm going to take what you guys are saying and I'm going to be like, okay, I validate what you guys are, are saying. I'm going to. I'm gonna think about that. I think it's because that's diff- interesting. It's different okay. headspace. I don't think it's yeah. Con- I think everyone's conscious on their own level. I think it's experience because, because it's like for that. sure. It, it's it's all relativity because it's like what 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 what's is the, conscious what, to you? Yeah, what's the end of the world for me? Probably could be like not shit to somebody else going through different problems, but it's like or just, but but to me like this is I'm. Does that make any sense? It's the life you're living, but it's the life you're living. But, <laughs> but back to what I was saying. No, nah, it's like I feel like it's one of those things where it's like you're looking at them as like this quote unquote lower level of consciousness because there's like things that you know that they may not know or experiences that you or like maybe it's their way of thinking about a certain like experience or something that's going on but there's still things that they know that you don't know you know what I mean it could be Mm -hmm. that same card flipped the other way to where it's like they're talking about something and you you're not really thinking about it the way they would or you don't necessarily have or is even but I'm not speaking in terms of like knowledge on things I'm just speaking in terms of how to properly take in uh, it's like information yeah. and, so like and, the and receive information in the information is like yeah, like you have to I feel like you learn that like and and how to comprehend how yeah. but also also how like how to communicate how you feel too how to like how to do that in a healthy way how to like take in what that person is saying like i said and not be immediately on some defensive shit yeah like that that is like the level of consciousness i'm trying to say i'm not saying like oh they're lower level of consciousness they're stu- they're stupid they don't understand you know what i'm saying i'm not i'm not i'm not saying you're not you're like yeah. if you're smart you have a higher level of consciousness no i'm just saying the master in terms race. of like having an <laughs> argument with someone like or communicating your differences with someone like in that specific like arena you're conscious like your 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 level or like your 
maturity or experience how, like all these yeah. things come come into play yeah i'm just saying like being like being higher for like lack of better words <laughs> lack of better words right yeah, yeah, no, like just having that. a higher level or maybe having more experience or being older mm -hmm. talking to someone who's not quite on your level that like you realize how to deal with that but if you haven't learned how to deal with that that can be like a an igniter for more frustration definitely you, like and that was the whole point of me even trying to say I all this shit and where it's like damn like t having a conversation with someone who really so the person it, it brings more like frustration yeah. the person and, you're referring to is not open to receiving so exactly or they're or they are gaslighting or they're or, just or, like or, not accepting the fact that hey bro maybe i might be the problem too yeah. not even that or they just have a lack of understanding you know lack what of I mean? self-awareness like yeah lack of self-awareness lack, lack of, of communication uh, skills. consciousness yeah. <laughs> whatever you want to call it they got lack of they're lacking yeah, something they're lacking something never but, lacking though so, but it's wait so who and it's always like a spec it's always like a thing where it's like just because i you're don't higher say here spectrum. Don't say spectrum. no no just because yeah, you're <laughs> just because you're higher here doesn't mean you're like at the top like the, like life is all about like expanding your consciousness i would think yeah but the thing but is, i think ego is saying that you're higher than someone yeah even no or it's a fact like it's even like judging it's, even judging somebody else is your ego. no nah, yeah because yeah. i don't think mm. you're just, bro you're not better than nobody nobody is judge uh, what is it don't Judge but I'm not saying don't I'm judge, better don't though. Judge thy neighbor. I'm not yeah. saying I'm better. The man I'm not the saying leader. the person I'm is just better. I'm more no, you're evolved. saying you're more better. a higher level of consciousness. consciousness. That's, that's the same what, shit. That's, that's that's the same word, actually. But but the thing is, uh, I feel like I feel like I feel like you're, we're we're all on the same page. It was just you're just using fun, you're just using. No, I like it. Adjectives. I like this. This is interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're using uh, funny adjectives to do this, <laughs> which would act, sure. that are like contradicting your your uh, your point. You dig what I'm saying? It's like the point is valid, but the words that you're choosing. It's like it, it's like, like whoa, it, yeah. It's like whoa. Are you? <laughs> do you think like this? Or are we just gaslighting like you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What's going on? See what yeah. got. I'm like, hold on, bro. <laughs> because was... I'm not. I'm not saying I'm better. You guys are saying. You guys are correlating me by me saying higher. No, or no, more no. evolved. That's what we're oh, saying. Wait, wait, you're not even listening. I, I just, I just said that. I feel like you truly don't your believe. Word choice. Yeah. You truly, you, we're all on the same page, but you're just using funny word choice. But what? what we're, so, how, so, I, have you guys provided different word choice? Yeah. Let me like, hear it. I, like, I said, like lack, I said, I said um, lack of communication skills. I feel like that's all that di is. Different, different part in their journeys. So you think if you you think you think I'm sugar. If you're not, if you you're not open to receiving, you don't you don't have the skills to communicate probably. I don't so you're, you're lacking something. Yeah, you're lacking. But it's not lacking consciousness. Consciousness. Consciousness is like is is debatable. Like, they're really not here. Like <laughs> yeah, that's like living life. That's like <laughs> I don't know. Like Take some Mr. Mushy, you lose some consciousness. <laughs> you might gain some consciousness. I ain't gonna mm -hmm. lie. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm no, because I I just think it's interesting. Like I think if you're lacking something, that still like comes from a negative place. Like higher and lower is like they're all ranked just words. because you're lower doesn't mean you can't get where i'm at but if you're lacking <laughs> but if you're lacking it's something you're never gonna get where i'm at because no, you're it's lacking the same thing. doing it's like you're no. low i'm just saying but just this is what you guys are saying hey, but you just you because gotta, you lack something doesn't mean that you can't unlack it essentially <laughs> like you can like you can learn stuff that you're, you're lacking in still right you got to understand where our confusion comes from when you keep like i'm not looking at them lower to me but like when they're it's like, like when that, they can't get to me when i'm up here when you the word ego and then your adjectives are all like ranking hierarchy like hierarchy yeah. totem words straight <laughs> it's just but you contradictory guys, but also you guys are putting me in that in that position as i'm the higher one no, what if i'm the lower one i never said i was the higher one i'm just asking if you've been in a circumstance where or you understand the concept of someone in an argument and they're at two different places in consciousness you guys yeah, yeah. you guys no, no, put me as the saying. higher no, one we, we i'm not saying that. i'm the that. higher one <laughs> stop doing this i'm just kidding <laughs> we're no. not saying you're, we we get that point the thing is the thing is as soon as i realized that the point that you're making it, it's no longer an argument because i understand that we're, we're gonna get nowhere with this 
Does that make sense? Does that make sense though? But I, yeah, but once I'm just once saying, I like, that, I'm like, not, I'm not, I, I, like, me using that, I'm not the example. I'm not using myself as an example. I'm just using broad. Well, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, saying, no, even, I'm still the, the, even still, the, the, the answer is the same. Like, no one's better than the other person. Yeah. yeah. And the thing yeah, is, even if it's not you, it's, yeah, you're still ranking other saying. people. You're, you're putting it into You're your, judgy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think, in theory that's that's all that's that's great you know like oh we're all one obviously we're all the same in that sense Yo, he, but he's shitting on spirituality right no i'm just like, i'm just I saying know, like know, like it. physically yeah we're all the same okay. but mentally we're not and yeah. there is a there is a a a, a playing field on like r- r- like low to high who has the highest in this room <laughs> Which is I'm not I'm not I'm choose. not trying to rank us. If you had to, I'm just saying there's a spectrum on low to high when it comes to just pick one. People's like, <laughs> I'm sorry, all right, all right, people's ahead. what? Who him? No, people's what? I'm saying like when it comes to the like the way people like this this conversation all goes down to how people are able to process information, not if they can like. Not if they're just in the room. Yeah, but it's that's and and that's what and that's the thing. It's like, it's not my job for you to comprehend what I'm saying. It's just my job to. But then communicate what I'm saying in a healthy manner. This is not a conscious. Because it's not. What? It's not a conscious discussion. It's a communication discussion. It's about whether someone's able to communicate. But think, but but sometimes but whether th- someone's able to commu- communicate is sometimes up to their consciousness or how good they are sometimes at communicating. Typically, you have a, if you're if you're able to communicate better, you have high, like you're you're and a higher conscious. Those are symptoms. Those are symptoms of, of having. Of but having a higher con- con- conscious. Can we look up? Can we look up what con- yeah, conscious? Why though? Like, define not, conscious. Yeah, conscious is not the right word for this discussion. <laughs> like I don't know. I mean. The fact that we're even having this conversation <laughs> and like trying to get all of our points made, we must not be that conscious then. <laughs> to, to your, to your definition. having mental facilities not dulled by s- sleep, faintness, or stupor, awake, perceiving, apprehending, or noticing with the degree of controlled thought or observation. This is exactly okay. the right word. Conscious. If you don't, if you have a higher conscious, you're more aware and you're more, you're comprehending more things that's going on in the world and maybe in it not even in the world in this conversation how this person is is reacting body language to how i'm saying or, or even though. understanding of yourself as well because what you're reading in them is not comprehending they could be comprehending it perfectly fine but whatever they're giving you back is a decision they're making to give you back in yeah. response to whatever it is you're saying and if and you're a, perceiving that as having more oh, consciousness yeah. yeah it's like you're perceiving it as that but they Make, could yeah. you never know that's why I'm like consciousness he's is, just not he's just not at that level yet you'll understand that like bro it's not a yeah shit it on you <laughs> no no <laughs> just, just not a view with us yet <laughs> stops his point mid like, and said yeah he should <laughs> <laughs> done or acting with critical awareness consciousness now you definitely you got, critical you, awareness you got the right definition like yeah you're using it in the right yeah okay you got it. I'm, uh, I'm just saying. I'm up here. <laughs> no, no, that, that, <laughs> and that's why I'm kind of, I'm, I'm like, I'm a bit yeah, like, like still hammering. I'm like, damn, body. like, you no, because you guys are right now because you keep. I'm not trying ball. to prove my. Po- I'm not. Try- my point is not to prove that I'm at a higher conscious level. I'm just saying there are different levels in You're trying consciousness. To prove the point that there is I'm a con- playing field. Exactly, there's a plane of it. If it, this is an X and Y graph, you're not saying where you're at on the plane. No, you're just yeah, that the plane exists. Exactly, but the tone is defensive. Ooh. Ooh. Which puts you right here on my like, plane. Like I said, he would win in the gaslight competition. Oh, hey, I'm, I'm. Sta- it's an observation. Uh, it's an observation. I never put anything on you. I feel like he just tried Man, to hit the level fucking gunshots in the air horns, bro. Let's let's get off this ego talk and go to this jersey talk, yeah, man. Because that's a lot of ego talk as well. All the but no, I think this was a healthy conversation. Yeah. Let us know in the comments Who if has you understood. <laughs> if you guys understood, put us on a plane. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Exactly. A lot of subconscious all on the graph. <laughs> and send it to us. That was good. We was cooking. You know, I, 
sometimes I don't know what we cooked there. Exactly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we cooked something different sometimes. I don't know what hey, that was. At some points, I was like, wait, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that too sometimes. So it's just like we're all on the you same. You get laughed area. in your own conversation. But, but, but sometimes they'll use keywords like "oh," mm. and then Trev will say some other shit. I'm like, wait, <laughs> he lost. <laughs> key. I feel like you guys were attacked at that conversation, so that just said everything I needed to know about y'all. Just gaslighting. Why are you, you just <laughs> <laughs> gaslighting? <laughs> crazy. Just gaslighting. All right, well, we get to. Georgia, all right, man. six gun. Who? You I, fuck with the six gun? I haven't listened to it yet. Yeah, I've, I've heard it in passing. I slapped it in like songs I wanted to hear first. I didn't do front to back yet. Hold on. So wait, did we all wake up to the same text message? <laughs> what time did you wake up? <laughs> Is it <laughs> Fat B is upon uh, us or something like that? It's Friday o'clock at eight twenty six. Did you wake up at a. six a. m. to listen to it? I was up at like four fifty. I was up at four. I seen it was out, and I was like, all right, let me sleep three more hours. I can slap this at the gym. So we wake up to a text in the group chat from Bossa. Y'all listen to Fat D. <laughs> Two question marks. What time is that? This is at 826 oh, in the morning. In on the a morning. Friday. He said, he proceeded Bruh. to, he said, bruh, right after. With four A's. I replied, not yet. Yeah. Is it hard? Let's pa- pause, pause today. Pause that. First of all. <laughs> yeah, talking about Fat D. And is it hard? hard? <laughs> yeah. Let's pause today. Is Fat D hard? You guys okay. clearly are on a different uh, level. Wait, 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 you guys are on a lower <laughs> level. <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, next text. Next text. Next text. I just listened to the first no, three no, no, songs. No, 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 no. There's a text before that. Should we do a listening party? <laughs> okay. This is back to back. No, n- there's no minutes in between these messages. <laughs> these are both sent at 8:28. Then he says, "I just listened to the first three songs, and it might be the greatest album of all time." Okay. And this is ed- there's a little edited notation too, so that's kind of crazy that he edited it. Uh, it was just a typo that he edited. <sighs> so that's pretty much all I wanted to say because I was a bit worried that you said this was the greatest album of all time. He said possibly. He said that about he every he said fucking it might. album, bro. He said it might. Yeah, he said like, it might. This is the fourth time he Possibly said that this it might. Year. <laughs> he didn't say it was. He said, yo, words are important, bro. And it might. Exactly. Wait, I said might possibly? Yeah, might po- that's oh, even, yeah, that's yeah. Dub- That's double doubt. <laughs> yeah, that's double doubt. No, he just said it might. Yeah, it might. So you doubt no. the six guy. Actually, he <laughs> didn't even... He edited and it still fucked up. It says... And, and it, it might the, the greatest <laughs> album of all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what he said. He was too yeah, excited. <laughs> what, what, what track? Is <laughs> 50, 50. Oh, shit. What track were you on by the time you were sending that message? Tizo touchdown, just touch down in his yeah, he, ears. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think I just said I finished the first three. And the just first, said, it, the first three is crazy though. He came out, sw- he came out swinging, came out swinging. I don't. The the middle part of it is, eh, but uh. There's some joints on there. Man. There's some shit. I'll have to listen to get my own opinion. The, the, one I heard, song? the song with Yachty sounded like the best one. The so song far. with Chief, that's crazy. The best one. You haven't listened to from it? From what I heard, I, I didn't, I didn't sit down and like listen to the whole album. What I did so see. You can't say that. What I did that's see what I said was, from from Cole, what I heard. was a Cole Bennett video. That, that video was pretty hard, too. Wait, there before was, we get to that, yeah. I want to talk about how we were saying earlier how Drake can still drop every year. And... It's still like this whole monumental thing. 15 years. One of the most consistent. He drops every year like a 2K. So do you think his music is still as good as it was back then when he was dropping? Or do you good think as, it's, that shit just aging like fine wine. <laughs> and good is subjective, but yeah. I think relevancy. It's, it's that, the fact it, that he's still the biggest. It definitely doesn't have uh, the same the same effect that Kanye's been having. I feel like he's been losing me with his music. Kanye? Yeah. 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 Yeah, kind of I hope that never happens. I hope that never happens to Drake. But Drake, though, low key, I feel like Drake's the type to exit before it gets to that point. But nah, also, too, Hove never exited. But I also think about this: Drake is thirty six, and his raps are getting younger and younger. Mm. Are they? No. Yes. He's always done this, though. No. Are they getting no. Always, no. I don't no. think they're his getting His raps younger. have gotten more and more younger. What bro. do you mean like by simple, younger? Simple rap. Like, like, fuck what, no. What, what, like, like, verb is like, cult, like, using say, just what ops. he's talking about. He's like, just because like, he's adapting to the culture no, of now, like, what we, no, words we I use consider, and shit. I consider young rap, like, I consider young rap, like, hungry rap. Like, when Bruh. rappers are young and coming up, it's they're talking their shit, and it's more like, 
I gotta get it. Like, there's way more like power and passion. Lower level of consciousness rat. in the young man. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's really like you know that you could. It sounds like they're still in the gutter yeah. or they're struggling. You know, it's like. But sometimes now I'm thinking in terms of like relatability. So it's like I'm 35. I'm rich. 36. I'm gonna rap this shit that the 20 year olds are gonna relate to. Well, I feel like it's because that's still the life that he's living. Like he's not. My point around. exactly. Bro, you heard he's the- 36 and his raps are still. He's 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 acting younger. He's not. He's not like aging like you just don't like that Yeet like song a boss. Because you no, no, I do. I because you think Yeet's alien music. <laughs> I I think I think this attributes to Drake's longevity and success is his ability to Ad- pivot, stay young, stay youthful. I think that's star. probably so. He's a vampire. I mean, is what you're saying. He's a pop star. Every OG you he's talk to says star. they need the young. You know, they need him around. The youngest. Yeah, it's like you know the young. To keep the them fresh. It's like, yeah, oh, they're, they're the most. I mean, relevant this is a crazy. <laughs> Go ahead, but yeah. we need the youngins, though. <laughs> they don't. Okay. The youth, the youth, the youth. In terms Drake, of yeah, Drake yeah. needs the youngins. The youth, the youngins is crazy. He's the same shit. He had a song nah. saying she just turned twenty one. So I'm saying he's going crazy. Bro, he was talking about you, Millie Bobby Brown. In your high school pictures, you was even bad oh, then. Damn. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, shout out to Drizzy. Man. I mean, he could what be talking that? to like a forty year old bitch. What if Drake? What if the same shit happened? The same shit that happened with Mike, Mike Jack. What happened with him? Ooh, the just documentary the whole, comes out. Just the whole child allegation. Nah, shit. I'm not putting that on. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm speculating yeah. on that. I don't know, but <laughs> I heard the Trey songs were gonna be crazier than that. Ooh, one. Oh, yeah. god. But, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Don't know the guy. But I also think Drake's lack of having a relationship or having some sort of family, kind of like. He can stay young forever. I mean, it's just like, bro, he's like on some, like, think about it, bro. He's like, he's 36. He's a full-time rapper. He's rapping like he's a fucking young bull out here, 26, 24, you know, just really. Is he, he is young. Not, yeah, he's young. But the thing is, he's not, though. He's talking about shit and things that I've never seen in my life before. What it's a balance. F- it's a balance. What the fuck is, uh, what was he talking about? Well, we at the Masoni room at the Biba Lounge. The fuck is the Masoni room? I didn't know what that was till he said it. We're going to the Vava and sing down, sing. I've never heard of no. Vava. I've never never heard of no young rappers talking about this. And like, I mean, it's not it's not the type of rap that like. I mean, for example, Jay Z, where he's ta- talking like art talk. You know what I mean? Like sophisticated shit. But like, but this is some shit that um, not the young kids are rapping about. You know what I mean? But that's it's the fly thing. single nigga shit. Yeah, it's just you ever been fly? Have you ever had her twerking you ever in had Turks? A high level of consciousness. <laughs> yeah, I have. <laughs> that's crazy. You ever uh? You ever owns your own OVO jet? I'd be talking like a young one too. <laughs> Made by Virgil? No, see, I see. Okay, so like, I understand. I see your guys' point, and I, I agree. He does. Ha- I'm not saying like, all his hell. raps are young. I'm just saying he thro- he has those young ass bars like Gangy. What are you Gangy? That's what? just him on some corny. Gangy, shit. Like, but, but, but some, some bro, like, slang be changing. Like, bro, like we weren't saying gang like. When we were kids, you feel me? And also, he gets that pass. He's close to all the. Sh- he's close wait, to wait, wait, wait. the do people you, that made it popping. Do you think when you get to a certain age, at that point, you can't ad- adopt any more new slang? Mm-hmm. Depends. No, on the slang. it's just your perception of of how people look at you, and that's what I'm trying to get get to. Where it's like we perceive Drake. We like Drake has an age in my book. So you don't you don't think he's corny? He's getting there. Really? Mm, some of the I bars like on this. He's, he's some of the bars on this project like slightly corny. I, I think he's like cooler than ever. He's always like, been corny, bro. I feel like he's a little like it feels a little less corny now, or maybe I'm just kind of used to it. But I feel like bef- like I feel like he's always had a sense of corniness. He's I feel like now up. he's kind of it's, like, it's cooler to me now because I can understand what he's rapping about in terms of like the places he's going and the shit that he's actually doing like this is real wait so you're a young dude consciousness is a young dude who relates to the shit he's rapping about he just flex without flexing right there and he just proved my point of he's cool than ever he's rapping to the young bulls but he does it all that's the thing he does it all this whole album is literally he has everything I'm like a Spanish song he got he's an AI bot honestly Nevermind was a house album like he what's, does it all. What's going on? What's going on? That guy's good. There was a lot of shots sent on the project. Was there? That's what you're focused on. I'm just <laughs> kidding. I, I seen something on Instagram where basically it said he dissed the weekend. 
And that hurt my heart. Bro, all that is speculation. That that unless unless Drake says it himself that that's what he means. Bro, he literally rapped the lyric. What are you talking bro, about? He, he said, said fuck the weekend. He said he fuck said fuck the weekend. If he did a name drop that I don't know, bro, cuz I'm gonna read you the law. I'm gonna read you the bar. All, Tell me if that, it's, a, it's, just, it's It was a light bar. It was you you see so Boston knows what I'm talking honestly, about. Honestly, after the weekend came out with the idol, he deserved to get dissed. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> that was oh, yeah, trash. I'm I'm yeah, okay, okay. I co-signed that. No, but honestly, bro, he was just like shorty slapping PND. We not slapping the weekend. Or she not slapping the weekend. It's that's not just, a bit. That's, that's, not, what? A diss, that's not a diss. That's like that's just like a that's a different arch type. But that's kind of a diss. That's it's a diss. It's bro. like a diss, but that's it's like it's like a joke diss. Like you're up in your homie. You know what I mean? It's like that's like if you're like man, nah, we ain't watching. I gotta up the, the homie, homie like, by shitting on nah, the other homie. You're not. You're not. You're not up in the homie. He's talking I mean, about no, PND. Oh well, yeah, you're up in him. But that's what I'm saying. He's up in his homie. You're sh- like, bro, it's like, bro, we but don't. It's like, we don't listen to actually, that weird ass shit. But if bro? he's actually close with the weekend, that's like if you say a joke like that about back on Fig or like Fig Community World or something like that. Wait, he's bro, putting we that don't on, know if he's close to He's him. putting it on wax though, like you on need, a song. Yeah, and that's kind of different than putting it on. And that's not even a funny ass joke. Yeah, it's kind of weird. And the weekend, um, you're potting though. I'm like, you're potting. That's how if if I had a homie like that and we both made music, I would. I would do shit like that. Like That's, it's a, but the it's thing is, it nah, wasn't. Bro, it wasn't his homie. homie. He signed him, bro. And now it's getting to a point where the weekend might. It's oh, right there with Drake. Okay, you okay. dig? But they also like, quote unquote, like crushed the beef or whatever. But That's why I'm so confused. But that's kind of interesting to think about. Weekend's getting kind of bigger than Drake. Oh, hold on. Let me just come through with this little slick dick. Like, like, yeah, he'll, like, he'll, like, bro, we don't listen to that shit over. That's like when DJ Khaled was saying Tyler's music was weirdo music or some shit. <laughs> but to say that about the man who basically wrote all of Take Care, I heard a rumor. Yeah, listen. I heard a rumor the weekend was heavy handed in the whole Take Care uh, yeah, process. Yeah, that's not even a rumor. That's real life. That's real life. Okay. So, I mean, you can still say that because it's like take what? care. Take care isn't Drake's whole discography, so it's like yeah, he did a lot of other shit. I'm and, and saying Drake, the switch Drake, up is crazy. Drake wrote might a, be wrote his greatest a, album, though. It possibly, possibly, <laughs> but Drake wrote a lot of shit for other people too. But he's not saying, oh, don't slap my shit, don't slap that, that shit. Now. He's saying, oh, we don't slap that weak shit, ass shit. shit but changed. back then we were. No, I'm, that's phony. No, I'm with you. Shit okay, changes. Right. No, I'm with you like that. Like that's a diss. Yeah, it's a light jab. Yeah, so would you feel some type of way? Good. Would you leave the group no, chat from no, that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mean to look at you when I asked that. No, you did though. But, <laughs> but I wanted to look at everyone. Is that, that goofy as fuck? <laughs> cool. Dissing me on the <laughs> track, that's goofy as fuck. That is goofy as fuck. <laughs> that's cool, bro. <laughs> nah, but, um... Honestly, if I'm the weekend, I'm like, cool, bro. That's, that's like me saying, like, um... They put like, me on your shit. Like, oh, you got Kelvin working on your, on your videos? Nah, my we doing We do fucking with my mans over here. That type shit. Type uh, shit, right? No, because the mans you're dissing helped build your foundation. You can't go against someone who helped build your foundation. He just it's did. Also, it's also, weak as he just but it's did. also vice versa, and he didn't really build but, it. But he's got a motive, though. That's how you feel. The Weeknd really, really didn't build Drake's yeah, foundation. He did if a cool, real. like, 10%. Like he, he played a little, he played a part. Five ten percent. But to say he built Drake's foundation is crazy because yeah, like, so you wouldn't. I'm not that's the whole Wayne saying built more of Drake's saying, foundation. That's like that, that's like somebody gaffing if, for you. If and anything, you're like, that, if anything, no, Drake, no. I, can, I can never shit on. If you. anything, Drake made the weekend. <laughs> no, Drake did. Drake, that's the narrative he nah, wants you to oh, get wait. off. Uh, <laughs> computing, computing, <laughs> processing. Oh, no, he Level played a part. He played a rating. Bro, I don't know, bro. I don't, Drake was the I bigger know, artist. I don't know none of these men. The reason, another reason why Drake has been so successful for so long is his ability to spot talent early and to bleed that talent dry and steal all the good shit. Bro, from that's himself. debatable. That's not a fact. That's debatable. I don't think he. I'm not saying him. it's a bad thing. It's a part he of the definitely shit happens. Dry. He definitely works with <laughs> up and coming people or whoever's. Who, he sucked. Who, who has the wave? What I feel like. He <laughs> I think when you could he add to that, McConan? okay. I think when you could add to that is sneak this too. Like that's his favorite thing is to just like sneak this little little light jabs here and there. So maybe they respond. Maybe they don't. But that, that, that wasn't sneaky. sneaky. That wasn't sneaky. No, that's yeah, that so. Was blatant, that's like yeah. checks over stripes, bro. That's real blatant. It's like w- this is what we're slapping. <laughs> we're up here. You have a lower conscience. <laughs> oh we have a higher one. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> like, but he was just, but the, at at the same time, bro, it's very similar to that bar because it's like, that's what I like. You can you hate me for my? That's what I like. But he's saying what they slap. What what was the bar? What what his bitches be slapping? Yeah, the ladies. Be We're not listening to the yeah, weekend. Man. See, he's salty. He's the petty king. So you know, I'm just trying to get down <laughs> to the reason. Like, 
Uh, this ask, is facts. He's called himself the Petty King. Bro, ask him then. <laughs> <laughs> call him He'll right say now. it. He'll say all it. All right, I'll call Drake? Him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he said it. Bro, all right, all right, all right. I believe you. <laughs> you don't have to do this, bro. You don't have to do this. No, he's no, doing no, it. All right, while he's doing here. that, uh, Tizo touchdown uh, is on there two times. Let's go. Get yeah. you, Doonies. Album of the year. Ca- Cash Cobain. Year. Cash Cobain beat on there. Cash yeah. Cobain. Cash Cobain and, Cash. and Power Trip. It was on Amaretta. She wanted to get schmizzy and listen to Slizzy. Oh, yeah. Go- Ghost out now by Flea, by the way. <laughs> Flea. Yeah, it was on Drake Amaretta. Nice. But I mean, I'm just no. I want to go back to the fact that damn, you guys don't think that's kind of shysty. It's like, why are you we sending shots to, to the weekend? We can get a, some deeper yeah, bars though. He got him. some. He got some shit on some deeper bars on there. But what I feel bars? like I feel like Trev Trev wants to discuss like the weekend versus Drake. Yeah, um, just like shitting on someone that helped help help build, build you yeah, some yeah. shit. That's kind of like my, y'all trying like, to defend that. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's I'm not defending anything, especially if shit changed. Like, and, and, and we don't, and we don't know. Shit isn't like, the same. Some shit might have happened in a yeah. club. Like, some text message might have got exchanged. It might be. It might be. Fuck him. Drake said that bar because he's salty about a bitch. That's you the don't narrative know I'm coming with. That's the narrative I'm coming with. Okay, I'm glad you prefaced that. Okay, okay. You want him to be mad about that narrative sucks. Nah, no, I'm just playing. Just, that's a that's, that's a low consciousness narrative, bro. <laughs> Step it up. Oh, you guys comprehended it, right? <laughs> my my ego can. Yo, we use a lot of. Uh, that's easy to comprehend. You know what I mean? Words. When you're on this higher level, it's like, oh, I comprehended that before it even came <laughs> out your mouth. Yeah, I've been with that. Before it came so now you're psyched. <laughs> what is this? Bro? You read his mind. Oh my god. That's okay. gaslighting. <laughs> okay, so what what bars uh what bars were really hitting hard? Because I mean, he was supposed <laughs> to know, address uh, some. He was supposed to he be addressing NBA spin. Young Boy in some bars. He was uh you know Kanye talking his shit. Kanye usual jabs, bro. Young boy J Cole beef is the sickest thing I ever thought. He I'd said see. he said he want to do a song with Young boy on that song. That would have been hard. You, but you gonna Drake, be waiting eight hours in the studio, buddy. I gotta read this Drake bar. But Drake body. said Drake said he's about to retire or he's he's taking a break from music because his stomach. God. My stomach hurts. I feel like it's good timing because now it's getting to the point where it's just like, all right, Drake, like, all right, how are you taking care of your kid, bro? You're making this much music. I mean, he's trying to put it. Okay, we can get into that too. <laughs> Putting your kid on the project, bro. He did the cover. I, I feel like that was a that's um his that's that's a, that's a that was a Jewish move. That was a Jewish power play. I feel like on some like he's got publishing rights. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, this yeah whole now, thing. now now he's set for life. They were like, saying was, something like that with the <laughs> DJ Khaled. The album. Yeah with the album artwork that he did like essentially he can get paid for that and like it can yeah well it's, like it's an asset shit. Yeah. it's an asset they should have cut Lil Bro's verse cause that shit was trash <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I heard clips uh he needs to step up too something. soon definitely too didn't soon. get his dad's jeans yeah. when the uh, nah nah you don't hold up go, has, nah, has, nah, has, nah. Hella, yeah. He's nah the fact yeah. that he's starting now he might be hella cold he might be I don't know I mean Drake should have just ghost read some shit for him that's how I'm feeling Maybe his son just doesn't have it yet, cause it's a it's clearly a, he's like it's a four. Thing, you know? It's a process. His, Quinn Miller's son. He's on a lower level of consciousness. <laughs> 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 fucking five year old. <laughs> no, his consciousness is probably solid. Nah, he's he seen way more than what? you, bro. <laughs> his consciousness is probably solid. His dad invented the two C slide. Yeah, facts. Yeah. During quarantine, <laughs> he has all the right tools to win in this world. I ain't gonna lie. Literally. Can't lose. He's probably seen more of the world than all of us combined. Yeah. So wait, do you have those lyrics pulled up or what? This the little Kanye jab. He said, "That's why you got deserted by your aunt. Like putting in cake. I got you on camera bowing down, but the footage is safe. Then got another USB to put in the safe. USB, United States billionaire." But like he got footage on a USB to put it back in the safe. And he got him on camera. They punked him on camera in Calabasas. On, he Did really they? crept USB? up the block. USB? No, nah, he went crazy. What is you? What is that? What's US, the United States billionaire? He did. Kanye. Kanye's a billionaire. He did creep up the block though. He crept up the block and, <laughs> and was it a left or a right? It was a right. It was a right. <laughs> <laughs> he got that bitch on camera. Yeah. Holy shit! So what? You think that shit? That footage will ever be leaked? I wonder what it what he's got. What if like a hacker Probably got some shit from Kim? Kim Kardashian sex yeah, 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 literally. The petty Kim. Kim doing some wild shit. Some some good. What, what? he said. He said, uh, fifteen years in a game. I don't know what he said. Wait, what? But what do you so mean? Do you think he, he actually has shit. this stuff, or do you think it's one of those like, oh, I'm just rapping and saying shit? Or is he gaslighting? Yeah, it's like he knows. 
It's like, you know when there's things that you can say that aren't he, true, but you know like, it can it's cut gonna, It's going to ruffle fl- yeah, feathers. Yeah, it's like... Do you I think mean, it's shit that actually happened, or do you think he's like, oh, I know this is this is gonna create some waves, or like I don't know what he did, but I know he's very capable of doing of doing that. A lot of things. He can elude. I feel like he's very good at eluding. He's to elusive. Things. He's elusive. He did that. He did that a lot with the with the X bars too. Mom ties. With the X bars, and I feel like he addressed it on this tape too. It is what it is, but I. St- I got Do you know yeah. the bars? The, but, but, does Boss of the Encyclopedia know what I'm referring to? Bro, but if the ops got if the ops died, man, fuck it. I did it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I could use some street cred right yeah. here. I'll take that. Bro, buddy. he's bro, he's he's one to capitalize off of any situation. The petty king. Yeah. That's pretty fucking petty if you're false claiming. It's like anything that that was like that. If you're can, alluding to false claiming a body though, is that's that like crazy. That's so flag crazy. On the play? That's so but the thing is we'll never know because it's elusive. Yeah, but the cool thing—this guy's good. Oh, I guess the cool thing <laughs> is that it people. Was a little cool video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The cool yeah. thing is uh, he I mean, murdered him for it's cool. Cool. It's, it's a win-win because it's like he—he kind of looks crazy because people think he might have killed him. So it's like it's, it's like, a win-win. Exactly. If, even if I but didn't it, kill him or not, I'm gonna kind of lean into it a little bit. Either way, we we will never know. We'll never know. But yeah, I would definitely lean into it. But yeah. I feel like we will know because didn't they try to talk to him in the case? Like yeah, they, well, that was like it's a deposition. It's like yeah, right. but it's not speculation at that point, yeah, bro. You don't think he uh he got his alibi and all that ready? Like his you know, Jewish lawyer, bro. <laughs> his Jewish lawyer. He might be defending himself up there, right? And he'd be straight million dollar retainer. He could always get yeah. I personally don't think he he did it. He just likes to run with that. But I don't. We, drink, drink ain't pushing up. The thing shit. is, I don't know. <laughs> mm, <laughs> Dude, I'm just kidding. Hey, bro. But, but the, <laughs> but the nah, thing is, is like, now. it doesn't matter how tough somebody is when you uh, when you have that much money, money and, and resources. Is like, yeah, bro. That's scary. Oh God. <laughs> That's why I love oh, your God. music, Drake. I love, I love your music, music. Oh, for the drugs. Great, um, oh, your your son, he's a great artist. Mm, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Take that little boy off that shit. <laughs> that little <The> boy. boy. <laughs> that sounded uh, undertones. Nah. Okay. You want to talk boy. about that Cole Bennett video? Yeah. yeah. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he was fucking with it. He was fucking with it even more. The fact that he did all of that in two hours. I what think. video was it? Let's break oh, it down. And it Moses, can Drake you look at the group chat? Another late night. Drake and Shlul Yeti. It was. It was. I liked it. It was good. I got a pee, bro. Alright, go take a piss. Alright, we just had to take a real quick bathroom break. But what were we talking about? That Cole Bennett and Zuvi? It's a Zuvi? It's a Zuvi now? I appreciated it. Yeah. Now you appreciate it. I always appreciated it. Well, you appreciated it at first, and then you hated it after you found out that it was produced, or the, he said he shot it in two hours. What you got? Nothing. Keep going. I, see, I... <laughs> what you got? <laughs> see, okay. I... I appreciated the film. The film. I, without even <laughs> with the film. Okay, <laughs> now, now, now you're dick sucking. Is Cole Bennett a filmmaker? Cole Bennett's a filmmaker. What do you guys don't try to take that away from my bro? Yeah, for real. From my bro. I feel like this is the <laughs> first time you've ever called one of his videos a film, though. See, I yeah, think you guys want to paint this narrative sure. that no, I hate no. Cole Bennett or I. No, throw it's it. not a no, narrative. No. This is the picture you painted, Wait, Bob yeah, Ross. Yeah, words matter, <laughs> bro. <laughs> The backpedaling ain't gonna work this yeah, time, Yeah, because if buddy. they go back over the episodes, so there's a hate. lot of heavy Cole Bennett slander coming out of you. <laughs> yeah. And and you trick me into joining in sometimes. <laughs> Tricked and, me. And, when and, you're a filmmaker. And he said shot on iPhone was a corny concept and then actually did oh, it himself. That and We also, discussed that whole thing. <laughs> and also, we discussed, it's not, the corny part was not him shooting on iPhone. The corny part was the fifth video announced, saying announced, shot announced, on iPhone. Announced. So was it corny him saying that he shot that in two hours and, and wherever the fuck he said he shot it well, in? I, w- I didn't even know about it. Boss had brought it to my attention. So do you like the, the video more now that you know that? Or less? I didn't. I'm just going to act like I didn't read that part. I never cared. Like I don't care if you shot it in two hours. Yeah, and I think it's I it's different to be like, oh, we shot this in two... No, actually, fuck that. Is that Putting I shot this in two hours is weak as fuck. <laughs> don't ever do that. <laughs> you're taking away from your art. You're putting, you're putting your art in the box. He didn't last it's very long. long. Yes, yes. That was like 30 seconds of him holding but bro, his tongue. Like, but that didn't make or break the video. And it was like, it was like some shit where it's like you had to go look for that. Like, 
Unless he wrote it on Instagram. Did he write it on Instagram? He probably did in his caption. Oh. I gotta see. If he wrote it on Instagram, it's, like, it's a little it's like, different, nah, but bro. Honestly, for, for how simple the video was, that shit was hard. I fucked with it. He's fully done with some VFX and like the whole shit. Nah, like, I was like, bro, you don't got enough pool to have them for three hours? They don't, <laughs> they don't fuck with you like that? No. <laughs> yeah, he was, on, uh, he was on Kids Takeover talking about it, Colbert. He said it was just some random shit after a show. Shout out to them. Video was another cool. late night. That's all he wrote on Instagram. I like that. I like that. See the I video. Like exactly. Video that's cool. what I'm like, bro. I'm not gonna cool. hate on it. Let the video speak for itself. So if he would have, but he's not letting it. Though. He's not letting the video speak for itself. Who? Oh. By, by putting the yeah. shot in two hours. Yeah, because you're putting an asterisk on it. Like, yeah. Oh, we we, we did this in two yeah, hours. This just in case you think it's weak. Yeah. Cole Bennett is the master of. Or is that a flex? I I, that's what I'm saying. It's like we don't know. Bro, we're we're speculating. We don't know. No, but, but I look tell at me that. think it's perspective. Like I think, uh, I think that's just trash. As a yeah, filmmaker, yeah, you're you're, you're taking fine. away. Uh, we've talked about this, right? Yeah, Where it's yeah. like you're taking away. Just let the video live. Is yeah, the video. It's like there. insurance. Why'd you drop it there? Or it's just like who get? Yeah, like why'd you shoot or it? Or it know? could him be him it's flexing. A flex. Like yeah, we it could did it in flex. two hours. Like, like and the shit that y'all be taking all day to do is sucks. We did this shit in two hours. That could it could also be a flex. But, but I'm viewing it as it's also kind of like of consciousness. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, for real, <laughs> no, nah, for real. You're spinning right yeah. now. You're spinning. You're spinning right on this shit. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, for real. I think, I think too. Like, but real quick, since we're spinning on shit, <laughs> Kelvin didn't hate as much as I wanted him to hate, but I brought this out anyways. Yeah, you see the scorpion his, jacket his with his old name on album it. Album jacket for the yeah. sixth guy. I yeah, put it on one Sheet. time. Gunshots and round of applause for that. Let's go. How does that make you feel, Kelvin? Can we get a slurping button going? Yeah, as yeah. many times as I put that shit on on this pod, get the proper close-up, Moses. Yeah, and then you guys see the front. Would it has your weak ass name? Your weak ass name? My weak ass name is crazy. Oh, look, oh, yeah. yeah, I'm shooting a vlog right now. We're oh, live yeah. filming the podcast. Oh, and yeah. now he's vlogging what Boss's dream. What is that, that bro? Just your executive what produced that? it. Damn. And Boss executive came produced the this. jacket. That means everybody's... This a, how many people executive produced that weak-ass album? Hey, bro, Kelvin has not looked up once. He just kept on rolling the, <laughs> rolling the spliff. Respect the jacket, bro. Yeah, bro. It's like the bad boy's jacket. Six That's for real. That's like a Rockefeller chain right there. Facts. Is it really, though? Little homie. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a status symbol. Is it a symbol of consciousness? <laughs> of lower consciousness? No, no, no. How much? I'm was like, it? oh, I see somebody with that. I'm like, oh yeah, I could bamboozle yeah. them. Yeah, I'm gonna be hey, honest. Hey, Trev, ask him. Yeah, Trev, ask him. How I'm much was it? I'm gonna be honest. Before I answer that, I don't think I've ever rocked this in public. So you're ashamed of it? A little bit, yeah. Why? Why? Because I spent uh, 180 on it. Yay! Oh my god. So the six guy that What's wrong with that? Over. I bought this. Uh, it's a custom. custom. <laughs> a couple months after. Is it your cu- it's it's custom? It's custom. It custom says your name, right? Yeah, yeah it's it's stitched. I don't, stitch. I don't like the material from Drake. Really. Yeah, it's very cheaply made. Yeah, it looks a little. I mean, they, all the money went to the embroidery. Yeah, Where's the embroidery? It's not his name. Right it's embroidery. Exactly. Oh, just a so name. Is this like a gimmick or? Is no, like, that was like the no, merch. No, that was like the merch. You order the merch and, and you, you get your name. It, yeah. It was, I, I've seen a few other people no, with the jacket. I bought this yesterday. But did you actually <laughs> executive produce it? No, yeah. that was just the... That's the he merch. executive produced the jacket? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I guess. Wait, he did. He did what? Executive produced the jacket. Yeah, for sure. Executive yeah. produced By typing jacket. his name in online. Yeah. And, and putting <laughs> the money up. Or yeah. And putting the money up. That's what That's what EPing is sometimes. No, but then that's the real one he, he did when he actually dropped was the leather fucking... Uh, like football varsity jackets, those are crazy. It was the same thing. You get your name put on it. OVO. No, no, those oh, those okay. he gave out to like OVO the celebrities. Game. <laughs> yeah. He's been rocking that new brand. Nocta. No, it's like some weird spelling. Type. Everything's weird to you. <laughs> it's strange and less evolved. And I don't put that on. Me, <laughs> did not say people were less evolved. Yeah. I feel like I'm less evolved. I've been there. I'm still I, trying I, yeah, to evolve. I, I, I was there. When I was a lower creature, when I was twelve. Yeah, when I was twelve, when I was a lower. <laughs> I wake up I used every to think day just like yeah. you. I, I wake now, up. I wake up every day, try to better myself. No, bro, you wake up every day and put your pants on one leg at a time, like everybody else. 
What does that mean, bro? I don't give a fuck about that little mumbo jumbo. You just <laughs> that right kumbaya, now, jumbo. that that ching chong kumbaya you just <laughs> spit out. Can we go back to Cole Bennett's comment on him shooting this in two hours? Because it's clearly not set up in two hours. It clearly had some sort of thought. You clearly thought about it way before. Mm. Well, that's shot. He said shot in two hours. My point exactly. But wait, 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 hold on, bro. What? Does that my mean, point wait, exactly? No, wait, does that mean that? All right, two hour, shot it in two hours means probably means like when the artist showed up. But that's yeah. kind of usual. Like the artists don't usually don't stay that long. Like yeah, but shoots can definitely be longer than two hours. All right, now if like if production got out there at eight p.m. like they start like everything started at eight like and ended at ten. But it I'm did, saying it that don't. set. The background seemed fake, bro. To the car seemed real. To, put, to put the lights on the car took more than two hours, bro. For sure. Look. I think they probably just rented that to be real. Well, you yeah. rent the with car, the you, put, you install the lights. And nah, that's more than two hours. He's capping, bro. I don't like but that. But even then, they, the it, shot. you don't even, it don't even look His like they had, shot they had two scenes at most. Yeah. They it was literally a, just like a rolling scene shot. of the car and then that scene of that little parking lot the area. Shots, yeah. Bro, just to set up the lights was two hours, bro. Like, don't play me. That's not shot. He could be saying shot as far as like, when he pressed record unless his pr performance yeah, scenes yeah. rolling scenes all right we, we were done shooting in two hours now we had breakdown all that shit separate from or he got crackheads on his production team just going crazy <laughs> no way they set that up i don't think got the shots and cleaned up in two hours bro. No. no you don't think drake can do that no he can do fuck, anything no, that shit was big as fuck Pause. but it's drake you don't think he can do it i think because it's drake he's only going to show up to set for two hours I'm saying it's like Work that's, with what that's you got. how long it was he shot for. Not with Yachty, he's kicking it. <coughs> now, if he said two hour production, <laughs> then, I feel like that's where it's like, okay, it was. And that's so we wait, set up that's so down wait, wait, week, but, bro. wait, but, but it's like, why not lean into it, right? Lean into what? I think Trev is just the a little upset because it's like Cole Bennett's flexing by saying that. It's just misleading if he's flexing. Okay. If he if he wrote this as a as insurance. I've already gave my opinion on that. If he's writing it, oh, it's as trash a, both ways. It's just like, bro, what's the, what's the point? It, like, it, like, but yeah, bro, you shot it in two hours. What what is that? Does that is you want a medal for that? What it's a fucking, it's a fucking uh, Drake video, bro. What Shut a, up. What a fucking cookie, that's, bro. That's what he's saying. It's like a Drake bar. It's like a flex. Yeah, like, it's like yeah, bro, yeah. I got yeah, the I got biggest Drake artist in the world, not shot in this two in two hours, hours bro. That's like, not a flex though. Trevor Potter. And you well, didn't see, that's shoot just it in your two level of consciousness thinking of it not as a flex. You know like what I'm saying? That's your ego, buddy. Like me and Cole Bennett, uh, like, okay. that's like top five flexes, you know? I can't even raise my arm high enough to show you like, what Cole Bennett is. If I get a Drake or Kanye <laughs> video, I have to shoot it in like an hour now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. I think it, I think yeah, it I'm, just kind of shows that you, there's like a lack of preparation there, too. And like, I mean, that's kind of, I, I want to ask him, yo, did you, like, what is the motivation in writing? Was it like, in all caps? Yeah. I feel like he writes it as, Probably not, not caps, as a flex. It's like a flex disclaimer, but I feel like it happens due to circumstance. Like, I feel like if he had the choice, he would rather get, like, a whole shoot. But if we all that wasn't the, the case. So he's just like, you know, like, this was shot in two hours. A part of filmmaking I'm learning, and I feel like is, like, that was that was a filmmaking. That was videography. <laughs> no, I just think not a film I just anymore. think I just it was nah, a nah. film twenty minutes ago. It's still a film. That's what I'm saying. You're take like bro. I'm trying to I'm trying to have him elevate his consciousness. You, you, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's like okay. it's like <coughs> this is a film. A part of filmmaking is dealing with these parameters, these stipulations, these things, these problems you have to solve. No set, no shot is gonna if we had time if we had endless time to get a shot i feel like the shots wouldn't they wouldn't matter as much you know where it's just like okay like a part of good filmmaking is being able to identify your scene and working with what you got as well. and working with what you got and figuring it out in a timely fashion but the thing so then maybe yeah to your point hey yeah we shot this in two hours but then which also is, yeah the beauty of it, it's yeah. like look what we're able to do in two yeah. hours so yeah. it's like yeah. i don't know it's, yeah, perspective. It's, all, it's, it's perspective we don't know what <laughs> i would like to know what bro is thinking behind that but honestly shot in two hours and i think it's his best video in a while and why do we like it i said it didn't even look like a cool benefit it video. doesn't 
What's funny is because it reminds you of like a dot com Nirvan type video. Mm-hmm. No all way. Three D shit and it's mm-hmm. a lot of static shots. There was three D like stuff. There was a lot of th- the first. It seemed a very. It seemed very typical it wasn't like industry super director. 3D. It was. I feel like the main three D stuff was like the chain doing the shit. Like, nah, it was, was like some, some compositing. The and whole shit. the intro is like the a whole three D like, shot yeah, yeah, yeah. It, that into looks, the eyeball. Just, the whole thing. Yeah, that's, that's like I'm not gonna, That's like composite. Like it wasn't like it was tasteful. When I think three D, I'm thinking like, like modeling and like, actually like creating a bunch of three D elements. It, it looked like, like it looked like a high budget video. Yeah, mm. I feel, I will, it the, looked like the, a high. Product, it looked product, like a high, like the product. high budget run and gun type yeah. shit. You know, yeah. Like the budget went towards the editor on that one. No, I but just. But that's why I reminded me of Doc Hunter Bone is like all of his shit is all in the all in the post production editing. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's like the shots aren't crazy. It's all static for the yeah. most part. But okay, so what was what what did you find in that mo- in that film? In that movie, <laughs> that was like what was it. what was captivating to you? Um, I feel like it was. I just, really like the colors. I think I think it was the pacing and just like the edits. It was very like it was tasteful. Yeah, it was tastefully it, done. It was it, like it, it wasn't over the, the top. edits. It it was it was um. It's not the Christmas lights to me. It was the Christmas lights. No, but it looked those, good the way those it was are used. Like the, the way the transitions were used, it was a very like seamless video like it was it's easy to watch you know the christmas and lights it's, it's that, that was a cool idea and that's part of the video that that kept me like interested you know what i mean but it, it was just like a lot of it kept it kept me locked in you know what i mean like and, bro you put there was a lot drift of cars are cheat are cheat codes in music videos there's a lot of mu- music video cheat codes drift cars twerking twerking <laughs> fighting uh, shootouts you, robberies you know why it's because like it with those scenes it's like there's a, a lot going on you know, does that make sense? Yeah. Like, whether it's the booty cheeks going like this, uh. or, or the but um, or the speed ramp. Exactly, and it's like, who's saying? I think Casey Nice that was saying that like um, like there's got to be action somewhere, whether it's it's the the subjects or the camera. You know what I mean? And I don't know where I was going with that, but I was random. Though. I just <laughs> I just I like that video. Yeah, I like that video. It was clean, and I like. I'm so passionate about this I shot this in two hours comment because I'm a big Cole Bennett fan for the record. Backpedaling <laughs> like the sucker you are. I mean look, you got the yeah, like bro, there. I literally like I fuck with Cole Bennett, he's inspired me, I definitely like fuck with him. You wouldn't everything. be doing this if Exactly. <laughs> not I mean yeah. not to that extent, but he definitely was a motivating factor in just my oh, journey same. and my process, right? Okay, wait, wait. So so how would you feel if like if you came up and he dissed you like Drake did the weekend, mm. that would hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> or would you diss him? Ooh, I already got the lush dish on your. Wait, you diss him mad times? Never mind. I don't diss him. I <laughs> critique his shit. Oh, that's what happens when you put your films out. People critique it. Way to spin it. Is that a spin? I don't know with you anymore. I'm not. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know with you anymore. I'm a straight shooter, bro. We ain't spinning shit. Ooh. I would say that too if I was trying to spin some shit. But uh, now, now you good. But yeah, Cole Bennett fan, you love him. I love Cole Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm I'm so passionate about this because I feel like, damn, bro, like, like, you don't have to do that. It's just like a little stain on the project. Like, bro, like, don't justify shit. You're fucking Cole Bennett. You did a Drake video and a Yachty. You did a Drake Yachty collab video. Was it on Lyrical Lemonade? Yeah, yeah it was. On Lyrical Shame. Lemonade yeah. for Drake as a rollout on a, like, you know? Yeah, let's You hate. know how big of a flex that is to drop it on your own channel and not have Drake control all the yeah. creative and shit? <laughs> I'm serious. No, no, like, no, that's, that, legend, that's true, man. but he's really the underdraker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, man, I, I want to see more of that from Cole Bennett. But just, bro, you don't got to justify your shit, bro. Just, I think another reason why I like the video is because, like, I feel like that was his first use of, like, texture. Yeah, a lot was, throughout. Like a lot of his videos, like since he started getting the bigger, the bigger budget, it's, it's everything, been a lot everything's of like, on a fifty thousand dollar camera. Yeah, yeah, like it's been very good, just like framing, and yeah, it's like I don't know, it's been more cinematic, which is cool. But yeah, I feel like that was like that's because we went through that time where it's like, damn, you putting a lot of texture, you stealing Lone Wolf sauce. Yeah, that was the whole thing. That Lone Wolf had that texture. I feel like Cole well, Bennett kind of helped start it because he had like the scribbles and shit, and then Lone he, Wolf came. He just OD, took it OD, over. Yeah, he just OD. He just, he, it's just like I feel like that was the coolest thing about Lone Wolf was like it's just 
all texture. Yeah. You feel me? All t- all texture and like real analog ass effects. Yeah. But then like just, but that was like, an era tight though. ass ones or like like ones that you wouldn't really think of or you see and it's just like you, I damn that's hard it. yeah, yeah it's like damn it's like super simple but it's super hard so you're just like damn yeah and he just he ran with that so that's why cole bennett had to kind of pivot you know kind of hey i'm gonna go this different lane stay away and on some videos he kind of you know <laughs> You got a what? <laughs> he fumbled. <laughs> kind of stole the whole sauce, you know. Those stole, stole little uh, lone wolf sauce, but I think in the grand <laughs> scheme of things, like if I'm look, if I'm cold, right? Mm-hmm. What's, I'm, your, what's your not? I'm not. I, well, I want to be, bro. You love putting on other people's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking around in these for a few miles. That's all podcasting is, right? <laughs> if I didn't get <laughs> invited to your birthday, I would have been tripping. <laughs> that is, but that, bro, that is. I'm just thinking, like, is. I'm like, I'm joking, but I think there was a period in time where, like, Lone Wolf did have like a chokehold on like the texture, like cool edits Cole Bennett yeah. kind of started that shit with one effect I feel like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. W- but but he had his whole style so if I'm Cole I'm thinking alright I gotta kind of I kind of have to be inspired but I can't go just like you right so yeah. I'm back on this shit but, but Cole now you can come up cause I feel like the space in music videos is just like everything's been done Cole killed it in like themes and concepts though yeah, yeah. like it was never really about the editing like that his very so, first like, videos were yeah, all the about first, the editing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. maybe maybe the ski mask one, you know, yeah. and shit like that. But I don't, but then like, you don't see you, how you transition in, it's into like, concepts. Yeah. Yeah. Everything looks like a film, like a movie, a short film. It's like. But do you think they were re- actually real concepts though? Yeah, he's got some yeah. deep concepts for some shit. Like, probably, probably, but I just it was just too polished for me, like the direction that he went with it. Cole. Yeah. Nah, no, I could. Interesting. That. I've definitely felt polished. Like that. Yeah, I felt like it wasn't polished enough. Uh-huh. It was no. It I'm, was a a kid. No, I'm saying like um in terms of like where where like the direction his that he progression went. of yeah of videos. like he's saying Cole Bennett's like like he moved like, like towards the, the, like too polished of videos yeah. to where it's like there's no more like rough around the edges like in like uh, for example textures you know mm-hmm. what I mean yeah. like that DIY feel yeah. I still feel like he had textures. It was it was not, mo- it was not maybe he not, had effects I don't know too. yeah I don't know. There's a point too where I feel like it, they all look like cartoons, like Nickelodeon. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, what, like I feel like it wasn't never that polished. It was him trying, like trying to be polished, but I feel like not necessarily executing. Yeah, I feel like hundred. Like, like, it was like that I'm Juice World video where he's on the roof, like the green oh, screen all shit. Are the same. It's like, bro, that's like. It was very Cole Bennett, but it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't like some mind blowing ass effects. It was like. It was like, damn, okay, you're try. I see what you're trying to do. Yeah, I don't know, man. He he has more money than me, so he's doing something right. <laughs> but also, he's doing it right. <laughs> but even and also too, it's like it's a it's it's different when you grow so quick. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like, I feel like Cole Bennett, he created his own his own style, but then it's like, in order to go to the next level, you got to like switch the shit up. You got to try to be industry or be pro- more professional right okay so it's like it just comes with it so the fact that i like i have a critique on that juice world video i'm not saying it wasn't good i'm just saying like you could kind of like we see his growing pains yeah but i feel like, as he goes i feel like different people have different appreciations for things you know what i mean but yeah. i but i think now that's what i'm saying now i feel like he's really polished and you could tell he's more seasoned like the color palettes are a lot more attractive the 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 frames you well, know it's just a lot more cleaner bigger, bigger budgets does it though? Yeah, but I feel like okay. it's it's a lot of shit that like that has that has yes worked no. it that has worked in the past. Does that make sense? Yeah, and I feel like um I just like I just like when people try new shit, man. Yeah, yeah I, feel, I feel like that's what I always why I always like Lone Wolf. I don't know. And then it just comes to a time though where it's like, damn, like how can I ha- how can I maintain my style and still try new shit? Shoot it on iPhone. Mm. Shot, shot on iPhone. Sh- put hours. some put some Christmas lights on the Lambo, <laughs> and you know, shoot it in two hours, and that's how I'm gonna level up. That'll do it. I mean, are you looking forward to his uh, lyrical lemonade album? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. The video. That was the most unconvincing. Yeah, yeah I think I've the ever video. Because you know, every song is gonna have a video. Yeah, that's what that's he said. What I was like, I was like, he, he could damn near make like a. a 
short film. Yeah, or like if, a little. And make everything cohesive. That would be, be really shit. cool. Yeah. He said that, and he also said everyone has to wear suits in the videos. Yeah. Oh yeah, because shout out to Kids Takeover. They did a. He just did an interview with Cole Bennett. We actually met them before. Kids yeah, he came. He yeah. came to the office. Shout out to. Uh, a couple <laughs> times. Shout out to bro, and I listened to the whole interview. Anyone else listening? Yeah, I was, was listening to the it? office. Nope. Like a cool hour. I think the the craziest story of, in that interview was the fact that he said he shot a video for someone for eight hundred dollars, and that video changed that artist's that artist excuse me career and trajectory in life or whatever. Mm-hmm. So was it the manager? The manager, I think. The manager yeah. reached out and w- and at first called him and was like, "Hey, I'm gonna like." I got a hundred thousand dollars. I got a hundred thousand dollars for you. You thank you. You changed my you changed my artist's life. I like. This is a token of my appreciation. I'm going to send you a hundred racks. That's hard. He didn't accept it at first. Couple days go by or whatever, right? The dude's being a little bit more persistent. Wait, what, what's kids take over? Yeah. Yeah, th- like, this is the interviewer, not the dude. Okay. Who, like, but basically he said that at the end of the dude like, like hitting him up, it, so? he got $60,000 agreed to like, all right, bro, like if you really want to send me the money, I'll take, oh, just send me 60, 60 you know? Racks. Which is such a crazy fucking, like, like the fact that that happened to him, I think, really makes sense in, in his trajectory yeah, how on like how fast. he was able to like really take take shit to the next level, not taken away from his work ethic. I think success is work mixed with a little bit of luck and good timing, but just putting myself in his shoes again. An initial investment, Putting sixty in racks. If that's I come a, up, that's a shark tank. And I'm and, and, <laughs> and, 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 and yeah, no, for real. And I charge someone eight hundred dollars for a music video. That means it's like, bro, like, I've been there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still there sometimes. Like, so I, I sixty racks would go dumb. And that, right that, now. that sixty <laughs> racks would make me like, but also like that eight hundred exploded my pants. That eight hundred is doing some. So sixty. Oh, uh, that eight hundred was exactly like, yeah, what I that, needed. No, but that eight hundred I needed. Like, he that's wasn't what I in like. He, he wasn't in like the best place too, money wise. That's so hard. He said he bought a camera. He bought a new, uh, like computer setup, and he, he was probably invested. It, turned you know? up. He said he called his family. And was like, "Who need bread? I'm yeah, up." <laughs> that's hard. <laughs> that's kind of like hitting the lottery in like a little little way. Obviously, nah. it's not a lot. It's like hitting the jackpot. Like, it's nah, a little jackpot. Not at all. Not at all. You worked every day to get to that moment. That's true. But, but that you didn't luck. work for sixty thousand dollars. That was mm. luck, though. Yes, you. Bro. But it's like what he was saying. Also, to that point, is like that, that he was breaking artists did, essentially. Did, like did his that, videos. Did like, that video? Every video that he was doing, it's like. Did that video help the trajectory of that artist? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what, what he's manager, saying. He worked that's for why that. the manager did. He worked it. for that. And that's not like the lottery. He, well, I guess he worked for that five dollars. He worked for that. I could say he worked for that eight hundred. <laughs> no, because he earned the sixty and then bands. came up on the sixty. I don't even know if he know. earned it. I don't know, man. Or maybe he did earn it, but it's like it's like you do earn it in the sense of like, bro. If every video or out of the because I can argue we all drop, earned if, that. You if know, what five I'm videos like because if it, every video I drop is doing three million views, and now your next album is. Or your next single is always going number one, or any video that I do, it goes number one. It's like okay, well at this point, you know what I mean, like. Well, but honestly, yeah. if we ever cross paths with somebody that generous, it could happen to us too. I mean, but so even on luck. on I that like tip, even luck. on that opera, like uh, they say, what's what's usually too good to be true typically is right. That just sounds sketchy. It's like, f- hold on, like, uh, yeah, you want to give me sixty rags? I don't owe you shit. Depends. On You're not gonna ask for any more videos. But even that, it's like that even just leaves room for just like, okay, what if your artist falls off t- two years and then you bro, tap you in? You think it's so deep? Take the yeah, sixty like, fucking bro, hands. You gotta bro. be skeptical though. You gotta be uh, skeptical of yeah, people's that's intentions. That's what I'm saying it yeah, depends on the relationship. Gone. You would know that going in. If yeah. it's somebody that already kind of gives you like. Shook night vibes and they're offering you sixty yeah, just bands. Just sign this right here. Bro. I'm not taking the sixty bands, but if it's like somebody, but if somebody like, called me, it was like, "Yo, like, bro, like, yeah, I've genuinely been working with the artist already. Like, yeah. we had a relationship, and then it's like, you know how much you changed that artist and his manager's life, and he's just like, yo, like, you think you're gonna get back dope every <laughs> yeah, like, time? You always you gotta, gotta think yeah, about it. Though. Never lacking. Never I'm lacking. just look. I'm just. I'm just saying. Sixty thousand dollars is a lot of fucking money. 
And then it's like, what if that person it's comes like around that's funny. at that time? But how much, you don't know, how, like, what if they literally just, the managers just got $30 million and the fucking artist just signed a, well, you know what I mean? It's they like, were speculating on who the artist was. Who and was the it? comments, they were leaning towards Lil Xan. Nice. So Ooh. if Lil Xan's manager, which I feel like we've met before at No Jumpers, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's come through a couple Does times. Does he seem like that type of guy? Shouts out to bro then. I mean, could you see Lil Xan dropping, like, being up? And dropping 800 on a video? Yes. No, no, just like <laughs> dropping 60 racks give, on it. To on give video. Cole 60? Well, that was the manager. 100? I mean, he did change your I, life, though. I've, ne- I've never honest, met like, Lil Xan. I don't know. Can't call it. Because we're going, that was that first video where he's like eating, the, he's doing the slow motion type thing. And at the also, table. maybe like was like a repayment because he also mentioned in that interview that he makes zero money from the channel which we obviously knew all that money goes to the labels so maybe they made a decent amount off the YouTube mm. so he was like let me pay let this me bless back him. to you, you but know? the thing is but bro didn't have to do any any of that yeah like that's so hard that, 60 racks that's tough bro think and about and he did it back to him I mean, not yet. I mean, not yet. <laughs> for all that we know, <laughs> not yet. For all that we know, Lil Xan could have come around. Lil Xan owns Lyrical Lemonade. Yeah, I mean, he could come around right now talking about his majority. Right? Hey, bro, like that, down bad. I, need, I need remember what, sixty bands you, back. No, that's what I need to throw it in their face. I need huh? a video. No, I would never I need do a video. that. Why, I'm why never. Does he, I why would does he need a video. I would never do that. But people are not not like me. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you gotta protect yourself from people. Okay. But why are you thinking at a that lower other people are thinking like that? Though? You always have to expect the worst. Prepare for the worst. Whatever the fucking saying is. I'm but just saying. isn't that just putting the worst out there? Like, why can't you nah, expect your head the goes best. there? That's like you like imagining you you and Kelvin as gay. Like your head. Went there. <laughs> yeah, it's like you went to the darkest went place possible. That's dark. Is that dark? No, that's gay. <laughs> well, that's dark for you. Yeah. <laughs> what? Because you're getting dark dick. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, that's crazy. Whoa. I, really? I'm really <laughs> offended with that. <laughs> yeah. whoa, for real, though. Yes, I mean, well, I mean, whoa, but like, he has a point. <laughs> the only one. It's not facts? No. It's no facts. Y'all be a that. power couple. Not not everything. Y'all would really be a power couple. Like, y'all do, bo- okay. both do, th- Let's both filmmakers. All right. Yeah, you guys are giving. Giving? <laughs> <laughs> giving couple As goals. he's stroking his <laughs> yeah. Both goals. solid hairlines. <laughs> what yeah. were we talking about? No, we're not talking about this no more. We're, we're, <laughs> What, you created a whole current, like you know. No, that was yeah, that was see, that no, no, no. Was, no he, that was he brought it up. You, but you created the, that, bro. He all I all no, I, no. I brought attention to it. <laughs> you guys fed into it. No, so bro, who's really the problem here? Bro, 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 who's bro, really the problem, bro? All, all, all we said was, oh, that's hard. Like he's tough for that. You're, bro, but like you're just fishy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Like yo, what if he comes back and asks him for a video? Like, bro, like bro, people, God. people are emotional. <laughs> yeah. Sixty thousand dollars, there's a lot of emotion behind that. Hey, oh, a lot of real. you got to put there's also a lot of that. people that wouldn't do that in the first place, so they could be different. You yeah, know what I mean? The fact st- that they're even doing that, it's like okay, you're not like the norm because who norm? What normal person is just giving somebody sixty bands? And a fucking want, psycho. My exact point. <laughs> Thank no. you. You gotta watch psycho? out because they're not normal. A psycho. psycho? But, but why, why don't you speculate on a positive? Okay, what if he comes back and is like, and their relationship grows, and now they're like locked in for for L. That's fucking great. That's I'm, fucking not great saying, bro. I'm not saying it'd be way cooler if you came back around and no, <laughs> that's what I would do. No, there's not one. But see, not. now you're looking at him different because now you're just waiting. Like you got that sixty bands from him, but you're not even happy about the sixty bands. You can't even look at him the same because now, like, you're psychoanalyzing everything, waiting for him to backdoor you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or like, I would just feel like I I owe this person a lot. So I don't know. It would, it, that's that's tough. I mean, may, what if Lil Xan's manager was? kind of just investing in the stock in of Cole Bennett like yo like I want and even that if you're investing in something you expect a return I'm not, not giving time, you not any fucking angel, return if you give me investors. 60 racks you ever, I don't give a fuck you ever heard of an angel investor they don't expect anything in return maybe he's an angel bro he's <laughs> You're mad as shit, Lil's <laughs> No, no, I'm not mad. No, I'm, I'm not mad. I would take I'm it. I'm just saying you guys got to watch out. He you would take the money and then he guys. would he would use some of it to like get a lick hit on him to off him just so he knows nobody's no. looking over his back. Fake is there. I would be appreciative. I'm just somebody well, definitely. You guys get me <laughs> fucked up, bro. You guys think <laughs> just because I asked the question, that's no, how I bro. feel. No, it's just fun to put that on you. <laughs> <laughs> or podcasting. And I've thought about that. <laughs> what, what? Do we actually feel this way or are No, we- I'd be thinking like, damn, like am I really projecting 
by asking these questions because on one end if you ask this question and you prepare yourself for it you have to think about it yourself you have to be exposed to it like we were talking about right yeah so it's just like damn like maybe you guys are are proving a point where it's like damn why are you why are you so negative why do you think so why are you like that Mm -hmm. you know like my first my first reaction to a he got sixty thousand dollars is hey bro that's kind of sketch (laughs) yeah what is what's well, about, it is though? it is kind of sketch you but know so is that is that me but, but the thing is that me being skeptical or there. just projecting what fears my mind goes there like, immediately not the first if thing. someone's calling me and saying i want to give you 60 bands but it's somebody oh, that you've been where was your support been, you, 10 minutes ago you've been bro we, you my mind we didn't have, like, we didn't have we didn't get this three million we just got so 10 minutes ago we, we didn't have that we had the 800 for you though so you still wouldn't be spectacle? I don't no, know. I would, skeptical? I, would, I would be skeptical, but it's like. But it's just like. But, but it's, it depends, you have history. It though. depends yeah. on the relationship. And what if he just says, "Yo, you don't like, just take it. Like you don't have to sign nothing. Like just That's take it." That's all. Like, my my mind goes to just like, where'd oh, you get this up. from? <laughs> Yo, it's up. Yeah. It's where up it until go? it's not where, up. You know it, what I mean? Like I'm not gonna be like it's down until I. I'm in just such such a low level of consciousness. Yes, bro. That I can't comprehend someone gifting that magnitude of a number to someone so you guys are right I should it's just dependent on the relationship it's like how close do you think What's you are with cause if you're a boss like, and you're really making money that ain't shit fuck if, it man 60 piece that's what I'm saying I'm like cause if they if they really just signed 50 million dollars if they signed a 50 million dollar deal like bro what is if I have 50 million dollars 100 bands is nothing are, yeah, are you gonna take a pic like this on your story though yes and if then I'm, tag the person yes. like hey bro I love you I'm trying to remake that fucking video that Young Thug and Future did when they had the stacks of money and they were leaning on it on the table, planking on it. <laughs> That's a Zuvi. I fuck with that. I fuck with that. You should have did, did that with like, pesos in the Philippines. No, we didn't have enough. <laughs> Talk about bricks, bro. Like vacuum sealed money and they're just leaning on it. <laughs> That's let's, put all, let's put all our money together and do that then. I don't, I don't even think, think we have enough. <laughs> and ones, baby. <laughs> yeah. One half dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Quarters. Hey, man. We could just fake it. We just Photoshop some shit. Hey, bro. The Richard Millie at the at the dinner. We could we could just fake it, bro. Till we make it. Prop money. The Richard Millie. The yeah, Richard I'm surprised Philly. no one called you guys out on that last pod, but I'm not gonna. You called them out. I know, and I felt bad for that. I'm sorry. I don't even know if that was supposed to be. Bad like for a, what? Just like, I was just like, damn, bro, you were kind of annoying last pod. Speaking to myself. For real? Yeah. I was just like, damn. I'll be feeling that sometimes when I watch it back. I was like, bro, shut up to myself. Exactly. <laughs> that's how I was feeling. I was just like, damn, if I feel like to shut me up, a lot of people probably think that. <laughs> hey, man. Right. And then I was just shitting on your keychain, and then you've got a, me a new gift. Weren't invited to Bill's birthday, bro. Like, it's just <laughs> <laughs> fucking crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and you were crazy. invited. How, how long? We, how long we been going? We've been going for a minute, man. What's up? Wrap this shit we're up. We're at though. two hours. I feel Definitely like we were. We, I feel like this was a, a great pod, yeah. and I wanted. I have a lot more conversations to speak to you guys about. I'm glad we had that conversation. Now that opened up the floodgates. Which one? The philosophical. Conversation. I'm about to bring at least one of those each pod now. <laughs> we have to, man. Have an ego death. Oh, how many more days do we have you till? Uh, a week? To, yeah, exactly a week. And then how long are you gone for? Two months, basically. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, fuck. Actually, a month and a half. Yeah, a month and a half. Amy's All right. hella happy. Why? So we'll film. Because the guy that was mean to him is going bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was him just saying, cool. Cool. Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah, that was a good one, Coven. What, what episode is it? 61. Nice. Um, <laughs> let's film. Let's film. <laughs> let's film. Yeah. Let's film some episodes before you dip. Yeah. Because that's two months. It's like eight episodes. So you leaving at least seven one more. days? We gotta. We gotta get at least let's, one more in. I think at least two more. But let's at least let's aim for one. two. Yeah, let's aim for two. But guaranteed one. But yeah, man, I, I appreciate it. Don't want to end up being goofy again, <laughs> or do we? Mm. Or do we? we'll Cook that shit up again, man. <laughs> <laughs> the mystery uh, meals. <laughs> those extra views <laughs> won't hurt. Get on that level of consciousness. Like, comment, subscribe. End this, bro. Wrap us up, bro. What do you mean? Wrap us up. Wrap us up. 
episode 61 <laughs> like comment subscribe uh if you guys can send screenshots of ab falling asleep during any of those Gra-gra. conversations did you fall asleep do. nah he didn't but it looked I'm like i'm definitely cooked though like you know <laughs> i was like this and we didn't even get to dive deep on why i sat in the middle Nobody. You didn't get to dive deep. No, yeah. I had a lot of dive deep in the dude. His, his, his ego he wanted to go crazy right nah, there. Yeah, that's Why am I here? Because if he was a, if he was my size, he would have been sitting in the middle. But the fact that he's hella big, mm. automatically gets it, man. Yeah, yeah, bro. Just to fall asleep, bro. So get your weight up, then, bro. Damn. Sick. Nah, he didn't fall asleep. Cool.